Oh, my bad, cuz. Kick me again. My bad. I'm take it personal. Sorry, sir. More than culture. More than culture is the brand. <laughs> this is the podcast. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod. I am Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan here, guys. Yes, yeah, sir. So you know tonight. how we do it. All right. Oh, man. Volleyball session. Who has known him longer? Oh, you know that. That's, a, that's Ronnie. Easy. Oh, man. Is it we Ronnie? Is it Ronnie, though? It might. It... Yeah, nah. Nah, it's right. Oh, it's, it's I think totally we all been right. about the same <laughs> time, man. We got a goddamn <laughs> friend of the family. You? Nah, it's running, bro. It's ahead, bro. No, nah, I nigga no. <laughs> it's getting weird now. <laughs> <laughs> we got a special goddamn guest in the house, Yo. man. One of the one of the coldest executive producers in the goddamn E P Shawty. YouTube business. Come on, that ain't talked about enough. Nobody don't talk about this man executive producing one of the keep coldest going. programs ever to be made. But keep going. Creator, wild and out veteran. Come on. Veteran of hell date. What do you mean, now? Huh? We got the illustrious Carlos Miller in the house yes, on the coach. Yes, sir. We got cousin and them, partner and them from around the corner. Quit touching shout shit. Them. That was a weird shout selection of credits. Shout yeah. them I wanted to get credits nobody yeah. was giving. Yeah. Niggas going to give you your <laughs> thing. I got hell date. <laughs> hell date, nigga. Hey, why they hating on hell date, bro? Hell date. Oh, that's y'all. That's, that's y'all. illustrious. That's the first time I seen it. I was nah, like, hell, hell date's alumni. I said, hold on. Why is notable, man. pretty notable, man. I'm like, why is somebody this funny on BET? Like, what the fuck is happening? Right opportunities. Yeah, nigga, what? Bro, we like all I saw all y'all niggas go up, then I see all y'all niggas on Hell Day. And I was like, these niggas funny. Oh, you seen him go up before Hell Day? I think so. What? Scope Bubba told me about Carlos. He's like, oh, wow. get your ass up here, man. I got this cold nigga from Mississippi. Rest in peace, Scope Bubba. Rest in peace. But he Scope said, Bubba. whoever, he said, Ryan, don't give a fuck where you at in the world. <laughs> get your puss ass up here to God Come check my man out from yeah, Mississippi, yeah. Cole. Yeah, because like when I met Ronnie, like, <laughs> like I knew of him already from mm-hmm. the comedy. So mm-hmm. it's like he was around, but he wasn't in, in the city for a while. Hell no, nah, he was on the road. And when we first met each other, it's like we already knew of each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of crazy. Hell that yeah. It never happen like that anymore. For you know? sure. No. Nah. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah, you definitely going to know about a motherfucker before you meet him these days. Hell mm-hmm. yeah. What? But yeah, man. What's up, bro? How you doing, brother? Uh, how you been pandemicing? Man, I just been staying out the way for real, bro. I ain't left this side of town since you know the quarantine shit really hit. Mm. Might have left this side of town two right. or three times in the past couple. I seen, I seen you, I seen you went home to get back, right? Yeah, I'm going crazy. Oh shit, that was up. That was the only time going I crazy. left the Georgia doing this whole shit. Yeah, yeah talk about that. What was that? Is the Boys and Girls Club. You know, I'm mean, at the hometown trying to make sure I do my part in my community. Yeah, you talking about who else gonna do it? So we do, Thanks. you know, every so often we go and do like. Back to school drives, give away some school supplies, and some yeah. backpacks. And, you know, I try to stay back and forth with the Boys and Girls Club because they we didn't have a Boys and Girls Club in Oxford when I was growing up. So oh, really? I try to, you know, make sure they good. Yeah. They got a sense of peace up there. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, throw, Carlos throw Miller come up, up here. In what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you know man, for them kids to see you, bro, that's gotta be with you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's on, dope. Man. So I've been doing the back to school drive for a little second, and then we try, I wanted to just keep some program going because a lot of them, and you know, a lot of parents need that right now. Yeah, the they need that little break, boy. Like so we raised some money and shit for them, and, you know, just try to keep. Did y'all drive to Mississippi? Hell yeah. Did y'all freestyle most of the way, or listen to Dick, <laughs> Dick Gregory? Ah, all the shit, Chico. Dick Gregory or <laughs> freestyle? You know, I'd be listening to a, a wide range of shit, so yeah. we definitely threw some freestyles up in there. But I just want my, wanted everybody to come. To the crib, and you know, we shot some shit that's gonna be coming out real soon. Just you know, about being in Mississippi, yeah. Just, yeah. at a time like this, it's which still. is so weird. Not for real, yeah. for yeah. real. And that, yeah, that's why it's good to have these platforms because I know you don't. You do a lot of shit like that, but you don't ever just talk about it. You yeah, know what because I mean? motherfuckers would be hated, man. Yeah, bro. And yeah. You know, the less they know, the mess I know, the I know you get a lot. Yeah, I like because you, you leave little trails on the internet. Like, you might be at a store in Mississippi. That's it. You don't know. You know what I'm yeah, saying? If you ain't tell there, them why. you ain't tell them why. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You, you find out. But then plus out the time. asshole in me just made me like, why the fuck you want to know everything I'm doing? Yeah. Some shit you don't supposed to say. <laughs> so, uh, you know, like, I'm, I'm telling you, man, people be watching shit. Everybody who say bad shit about you don't get they don't get to judge the fool of you. Yeah. Right. So I know exactly who I'm talking to and who I'm dealing with at all mm-hmm. times. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The motherfuckers yeah. who you know it, it's a whole it, it would it don't even make sense. Like, right. I say fuck everybody and then I just try to help everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing, you know it's duality. Right. <laughs> hey, you've been, been shit. You've been fucking around online for a long time. Do you, do you can you? 
like pinpoint a time to where you feel like it changed and everybody's like getting offended by shit or just trying to like cancel people Girl, and shit. Yes. Cause I remember exactly like social media just used to be where you could go say the wildest shit. Wildest shit. It was some wild funny. Shit, though, it was it funny, was, bro. And that's what made everybody love social media. It was right. chat rooms first. That, remember that chat rooms? Times, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Going crazy. Get it exactly. off your brain. And then it's like now it's, it's reality. It's actually consequences for that shit. Yeah, Harsh. your job. Yeah. But then you look at some of the shit that people okay. that people do get criticized and canceled, so called for. Right. Some of that shit make you be like, just why the fuck did you even say that? Yeah. Why yeah. you say that on social media? Yeah. Why right. did you type that out? But see, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Mostly, that mostly from the president. Yeah. Right. <laughs> why are you typing this? Right. That goofball. You cannot type it. You can just not type it. Right. Yeah. Right. But you know, when everybody was nobody on online before people were getting verified and making millions of dollars off social media, it was yeah. all a different atmosphere. Bro, you've been grinding on that shit since the space, since yeah, my man, space, bro. I always post like some old shit from social media because niggas be thinking I don't know my joke. It's boy. It's that a boy. It's hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I got a joke, joke going viral niggas? right now. What you got? <laughs> no, y'all. The One baby bird. Oh, <laughs> not the baby bird. Get baby back on my bird. Tag when I say. When I give him the money, say, nephew, I kill all these motherfuckers about you. Oh, yeah. I just saw that. Come I just on. saw that. I just saw Come that. On. That's going I crazy. crazy. You done, all, everybody, all y'all done heard me say, I know Ryan. Come Come on, Ryan bro, asked me I to probably, do probably got that shit on the neck. Said, said this shit, said, man, first neck picture. I said, that may be one of the first jokes I remember you doing. Come on, man. Yeah, hell yeah. That's on, crazy, bro. And, 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 and but I know they ain't, they ain't the first time. Go ahead. No, I was going to say a brief history. Slick to that joke. We started Snack Pack. The only show Tyler missed. Don't say miss. Tell him what happened. The only show Tyler missed. You Don't cut him? say miss. You know he cut the Tyler. Don't what happened. He cut Tyler from Snack Pack before? Wow. I show you, you was on. Know. They, had, they, 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 they ain't put me on Snack Pack. <laughs> He, did, he, well, he didn't make the mustard. He didn't make yeah, the they cut. Yeah, they think I'm funny enough, so. Yeah, saying, we gonna yeah. cut him with no heart. Nah, he's, why I wasn't there he, slept, he slept with the girl I was really eyeing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't really, ain't really ever want to say it. Out. That just came out. God damn, it's been 40 fucking years. Hey, but Lois ain't brought out, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm sorry, man. Shit. Who was that? I don't even remember. What is he, 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 he fucked who? Quit touching shit is what it should have been. Really? That nigga weren't home. Y'all know, man. We and Rio do not have these same type of bitches. Right. I'm serious. I'm like, Wait, wait a stop it. What does that mean, <laughs> motherfucker? I mean, let's stop. I was keep it funky saying. with you though, Tyler. <laughs> it, it I, I knew what six isn't better. Remo, Remo was the one who was like, Adamant. We already got a, <laughs> a football. Really? Come on. <laughs> we already got a football built type nigga. <laughs> we don't need two of them. <laughs> that nigga hated on yo. Like Bro, he had a baggy suit on. He came in with a baggy suit. <laughs> anyway, he hated on your regiment. Los graced us with he his first show. And I, 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 I believe you said that damn joke. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, he, wow. He did, it's coming out now, guys. Man, be surprised, surprised what you learn. Because you talking Jesus. about Uncle Punk. That shit was hilarious, Uncle bro. Punk was Uncle Punk. Insane. You did Uncle yeah. Punk on Comic View. Yeah. They steal the shit that was taped. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's you said what? what? That's how they see it. Yeah, that's, that's what they see. Yo, that shit be irking me, bro. That shit be irking me. Niggas going back and watching who got jokes. But you know, every artist has their little artist shit. I hate when people put, like, my jokes on social media. Mm. Damn. I hate that. It's just, that it's a, but I know that happens, and then they just show. Let's love. clarify. You be, I was about to say, it's, your it's joke love, as a though, bro. Or as a but sketch, I correct? Like, say you do a show, right? And then you you do the joke, and then a motherfucker just like quote the joke and be like, Carlos, <laughs> stupid laugh. Oh God. Okay. Like, leave the joke. Let me do the joke. <laughs> let us. Be, let it be an experience. <laughs> Type the shit out verbatim, cause then the haters got the perfect fucking don't mean. Don't right. transcript the show. Yeah, guys. I don't like giving shit. niggas the script, baby. I Come don't, on, baby. Because it's like, I can just look at some shit and know if I, I know that's my shit. Because I actually write jokes. Right. Man, come on. I've been there. I know I know what you're doing. That's your, is that, that's your, uh, what's your process in terms of that? Man, if the shit don't make me laugh first, I ain't seeing it. Mm. And then that's when I watch comedy. Like, you know, you be watching somebody before you go up and you're like, I'm overthinking every one of these bitches to me. Cause I'm like, oh, I would never, I would never, like, I would never be bold enough to even try to say that as a joke by itself. Mm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, it's just like when you play in motherfucking space and you be like, nigga, y'all letting the hearts walk. <laughs> A jack of hearts on and the table, for real? 
just splash. Y'all niggas weak as shit. You just let a ten, a, a ten is a book. Bro, a ten is a book, nigga. You, you call somebody. You throwing hands. You don't know how to boy. play, nigga. Get out here. It is a good feeling when you a new comic, like somebody going up before you. You hear what they laughing? They oh, they laughing at that. All right, okay. Mm-hmm. This about That's why I take over them to see what they what they talking about. Hey, go up there, see what they talking about. See what they talking about right quick, man. Nah, man. After all this time, thank you, Running. Comedy long enough, you start seeing the signs of when a nigga about to steal your joke. Oh my God! What you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We call this shit. We got a timestamp. This shit. I think I know what you're about to say. When you first start off and you get good at writing jokes, and then this how you know the joke good. You can vouch for this one. When the old comic nigga come up and say, "Come here, young nigga." Oh man, joke like this. Oh, boy, I got a it's joke gone. like that, it's silly gone. ass nigga. That is verbatim what they say. They don't exactly. never say that you did my joke. They right. Say, I got a joke like that. <laughs> nigga, nigga, JJ told me, he said, hey, bro. You know they what? They appreciate if you giggle this uh, kind of signature. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you said. Like, my I third time on stage. I'm up there giving it up. The niggas went laughing. I said, damn, I appreciate these few little giggles. <laughs> Come here. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, that's some signature shit, man. Period. Well, I ain't going to say the comic's name, but I was in the back of Uptown one night. And a nigga walked on stage. And he said, how y'all doing, man? Give it up for the latest. The comedian that was up there, there was a bunch of comedians back there. The comedian looked on stage and said, man, this nigga doing all my shit. I know it probably was, but that sounds like some shit Smoke would do. <laughs> That's so <laughs> No, Smoke say, you know shit that is. You know who that is. Oh, <laughs> bro, that nigga's an encyclopedia, is, baby. Bro. Shout out to he the nigga Smoke. He knows who everybody's stealing. That yes, nigga, if you sir. want to know who's stealing, Smoke will tell you. Smoke will tell you, yeah. tell yeah, you Nigga boy. did my joke on a new TV show, and I said, <laughs> oh, yeah, we doing that. Yeah, we doing that. <laughs> A nigga did my yeah, joke. He said, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, shit. Uh, yes, sir. Go, go, go in. Go in. A nigga did my joke. <laughs> and I knew he had been doing it, right, for like two years, right? Oh, so he man. did it on a TV show. I know this. And then uh, <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody said. <laughs> Crazy shit about that. Go ahead. Somebody said, yeah, man, he said he just got nervous and did just did your shit. <laughs> and then Smoke said, man, that nigga been doing that man shit by the year. <laughs> Yes, he did. <laughs> I can't talk none of that shit around Smoke, bro. Smoke, smoke said, man, smoke he been will, doing that shit. <laughs> smoke will reveal it. Smoke like Sage, bro. He's like, gonna tell you what the truth is. <laughs> and it's a nigga I paid before. I was, ugh. Oh, it just, man. I had a young comedian come up to me. He was did, like, remember was, I told you? He was like, when niggas hey, steal your shit that was on TV, though, bro. I kind of think I want to, you know, I'm Try doing shit. I'm, that's the new shit, Lowe's. I don't know. I know you ain't been out here in the streets <laughs> like that. I want to try your shit, bro. It's a nigga like, bro, I kind of want to, you know, do something. We kind of do the same thing, but I kind of just want to try. I want to try. <laughs> what? What you doing? Like, I, you saying it? I want to run it by you to make sure you cool. I'm like, heard. hell no. Nah. Well, I you seen a nigga do a nigga right? whole skit over and said. It was inspired by. Inspired by. Yeah, that. I yeah, I remember that shit. Niggas would take your that's joke the new and, and do their whole sketch to it. Taken. That's yeah. the name of this like, episode. As your Taken. Joke playing in the background, they reenacting it. That is the lamest shit I ever seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know who invented that, but I wish they would have never invented that. Did nobody ask but, for your but, help? But but is, like is, is it like singing a cover? It's like you singing a cover. No, it's like it's just like hey, I'm singing a cover song. Now nah, they got bro. TikTok. No 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 no. He's talking about somebody taking your intellectual. Your property. They take a fucking joke that you did, like off a clip, just the audio, and then they reenact the joke on, the, oh. on their own to their own. They sketch. Dave Chappelle. Nobody asked you to do that. Without nah. none of your approval or consent. You know, tic, t- the TikTok shit is completely different, but when a nigga is making his whole career reenacting other motherfucker shit, when I can feel yeah. them. When you get on stage, it's oh, gonna yeah, be nah, tough. Go I don't know what, what like blurred the line in the comedy shit. Like, what gave people just free range to say, hey, I'm gonna do this for you? Hey, you got doing this for me. I'm this doing this for, for me. You. I'm already doing this for me. Right. right. Leave all my shit alone. That's why, <laughs> Please. Quit, that's why I say quit touching shit. Just leave, Bro, that don't, shit. just leave my shit. I ain't. I leave me all I ain't the way alone. You don't mess with me. Were, were, were you drinking a Dr. Pepper when you 
came up with yeah. quick type shit. <laughs> and I was drinking a Coke because I used to do this comedy shit by myself, like when I have shows by myself. When mm. you know, Ryan, tell you, you first start headlining this by yourself for the whole first year. They just give you whatever feature they can afford because, like, that's when they first really start getting you some decent money. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then they'll be like, "We're paying you what you asked for, so we couldn't <laughs> afford to bring your friends. So we got the <laughs> guy who's gonna do 15 minutes in front right. of you." Right. So I used to, when I was getting my shit, I always say, "Coke, a coke and a smoke." Mm. So, but you know. Mm. And that local nigga is trying to take your head off for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask something about that. I know you ain't been on the road in a minute, but like maybe the last three, four years, there's somebody that you was on the road and maybe is in the back listening, like, oh, okay, they got them doing their thing. And you kind of, cause I know you had put me on the homie Starks. That nigga funny as shit. But anybody else went on the road and just was like, oh shit, you like a newer comedian? Um, uh, man, let me, Jason Banks. Where you at? He out of Ohio. Okay. okay. Like when I'm in the Midwest and I'm close to where he is, yeah. I always tell him he always good on that shit. Cause he, awesome. he, he, does, he one of them dudes where he's like, he got a strong set and shit. It's his, mm -hmm. he respect the time mm -hmm. and That's it ain't no thing. extra shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a bunch yeah, of motherfuckers man. around. He yeah. worked and he, you know what I'm saying? It's a few motherfuckers like that. Shout out to the white girl Libby. You know the lady who blew up off the sketch who was like, she went to McDonald's and they ain't offer her the extra McRib and she was like, excuse me, bitch. <laughs> excuse me, bitch. Yeah. She opened for me in St. Louis, man. She's fucking funny. And she got the type of, it like her, her, her comedy is like, she ain't playing to no specific audience and no shit, but everybody fucked with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause she was the only white lady. You know my show full of everybody in that bitch. Yeah, she, yeah. She held it down. Um, my nigga Willie Lynch Jr. He always Willie Lynch. Willie Lynch. Yeah. Somebody I think I met him through you one time. Yeah. We went out in college. Willie Lynch funny. Let me yeah, see, see, man. Like, it's a lot of funny ass comedians. Yeah, hell yeah, man. But see, that's the thing about comedy. It's such a broad spectrum. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like you can bring a motherfucker that you love and enjoy, mm -hmm. and they 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 might not just be good. They ain't shit in this city. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. can't go everywhere, mm -hmm. and that's the fucked up part about it. And then you have to learn that you learn. Where your markets are good, mm -hmm. so, but you got to go there to see. That was my part of like taking a young nigga out, like right. <clears throat> to show like you, you Starks and shit. Yeah. To show you, you got to go there early. You got to check out what's popping in this town. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to feel where you, you at. Still got you, when you still can use the anonymous card. You know what I'm saying? What if you let the show know who you are, but you still got the freedom to move around? Yeah, and right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's harder for you now, right? Hell you! Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, I'd have been bro, with I'm you. Not, I'm like, listen, y'all been knowing me for about 15 years. I, I never would think I'm famous. That shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just be like, man, niggas know me, but I don't never think yeah. I'm like Can't Angelina Jolie. <laughs> this nigga out here, uh, Angelina. Uh, niggas, that, the, but the niggas that I'm famous That's to funny think as I'm fuck. like famous. Man. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, man, I be in there, but I just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm in, in I'm invited. Right, yeah. right. I ain't, just, I ain't over there. Yeah, I ain't over there like that. <laughs> <laughs> like I go to events famous. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Like, That's I'm, all not, you want. I'm not famous every day though, my nigga. Every I ain't day. That famous, man. I'm like, you get it seasonal in famous. But Kroger yeah. though, but you walk in Kroger, it's a it's a long day, ain't it? I mean, I'm kind of like black people famous. Like, but I'm, Kroger, I'm like, if you go to city trends no anyway. Trouble. Kroger Give and Greenbrier, how's awards. it gonna happen? How, how's it gonna go down? I, I cannot go to Kroger and Greenbrier. That's just not happening. That's Kroger and Greenbrier. They gonna shut the head low. <laughs> Bro, I walk in Kroger and on Greenbrier, Bro, you, you gonna hear. Hell no, folks. Why don't the last thing, man? We got yes. that boy, Carlo Millie, me, me, yes. fuck you, Tom, oh, I me. Man, man y'all get out the way, let my nigga get in grocery, my nigga. Get in grocery. Hey, low car, holla when you get through, nigga. <laughs> I see you, boy. We 4 to 85 South, so, nigga. Get you some of them banana, my nigga. <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy? Hey, you should do your pop up in Kroger, bro. Do a quick touch uh, of shit pop up. Why you bullshit? That'd be hard. Announce me. Nigga. Nigga. Going to Walmart. <laughs> Attention like hell, Walmart shop. What are you for tripping, boy? Like hey, hell. on some real shit, though. They got them TV back there for $3.99. Them big motherfuckers. <laughs> we finna bring some at the bite right now. Nice. Stay up in this bit for real, 
bro. I don't know if y'all just got here or nothing, but I'm for real, bro. If she's gonna go down and be, I just got the motherfucking microphone. You feel me? You feel me? Hey, I'm bugging up the A. They let you talk with the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't know we can talk like that. Boy, I man, sound crazy as hell on this bitch. Boy, I'm gonna turn this weak ass music off and play some while y'all shout. Hey, my what homeboy shit. What the Oscar called that, boy? <laughs> you gonna hear a nigga in the back. <laughs> and try to plug the shit. Play the goddamn, goddamn video, boy. Oh, man. Hey, the crazy shit about all that is, like, I, I got a joke like that. Man. <laughs> uh, that's the name of the episode. I got a joke like that. This nigga terrible, man. You a I fucking got a joke like that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, because you said Kroger at Greenbrier. My yeah. joke, I just was at Greenbrier. I was, <laughs> I was at Publix in yeah. my joke? Yours, <laughs> I was at Piggly Wiggly. I was in the country. Time. <laughs> you mentioned you mentioned 85, man. Talk about that as, as I know that's your brainchild, man. Talk about the inception of Yeah, bro, because they don't Smith's know it. Smith's old I was about to get to now, please. Say, it's before that, bro. right? I'm talking about the first live show. I well, love that. Smith's that. old bar was like that was an experiment for me mm. to show my team, like, look, even if look at this shit. Yeah. We just we can go upstairs. We don't have to go nowhere big to try to do nothing. And we just need to go in here and I'm gonna show you the power of this shit. That's why we did it a few times and then be like, all right, this might be for me, but this could be part of the, of the last show. But mm -hmm. really that whole joint was just an experimental time mm -hmm. where me and my team, I was showing, cause you know, they were unfamiliar with the live show aspect on, in the, on the independent side. Mm -hmm. Like even DC was still like new to comedy and doing Live he was brand new. Brand, yeah, brand. You got him for real. I remember like the earlier shows, he really didn't even want to fuck with the stand-up side of it like mm -hmm. that. I'm like, bro, you, this is our shit. Like they already here to see. You can't lose, you bro. Like, and you know, <clears> like once we, one, I was already known in the comedy world, so mm -hmm. it's like the live show aspect was, wasn't unfamiliar to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's so, how you. That's that's so dinner right like, there. That's no, money. That shit. small venue. Just to show, just to work out the kinks to show him like, look, if we do this, this will happen. If this don't happen, I'm gonna do this part. So he can go out and do this, and then we got the stand up, and then we got the band, and then it's like we got everything in here, so we can't lose. Man, can't that lose. shit made DC so strong as a stand up. Bruh. That was like live practice. And it's something about Cat's Cafe, man. Like that I've seen him, space, but that get busy bro. too. But see, that's, I that's seen. the thing about it. That's why I'm I'm so glad to see the motherfuckers still going to Cats to use that shit. Yeah, I, when I was going to Cats, the shit was new. Mm. Like I was around when the shit first was. They were still doing like jazz or some shit. I think they. Yeah. Oh no, they put the plaque up in there. Carlos Miller plaque is coming. Got sure. <laughs> like when I went there, and then right, you know, it's like there was nothing. No so comedy. It's like, it just goes to show you the type of energy that we put into that room for yeah, that shit sir. for me to be gone five, six, seven years. Still, still strong. Motherfuckers still to be doing it because right. we did that shit religiously. Still. I wish throwbacks were still around. Honestly, me too, that man. was. That, bro, that you was the king of throwbacks, dope. boy. The dopest shit man. to me was to see Corey Holcomb, and he mm -hmm. was Corey Holcomb back then. Back then, yeah. Corey Holcomb. He Come made two, niggas make sure hours. they came Damn, and fuck with Carlos that. down. Because what happened was, niggas, he'll get the best niggas because they in town headlining the uptown. Man, yeah. His oh, shit ain't nigga. jumped to 11. They could do the whole show, come down here and get another couple dollars. Because right, yeah. right. Sko Bubba had the relationship like that. That's why. Shout out to Sko. The OG relationship is very important. It's very important, bro. That came through there and destroyed that bitch. And I'm what? talking about when niggas was really just like, you know how every comedian had that moment where they just mm -hmm. at the hottest. Mm -hmm. Everybody booking them and they working hard. They I'm talking about niggas, there. Had niggas like Corey Hoker, Mike Epps came through that mm -hmm. bitch. Ray Lepowski used to come in that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And murder that bitch. Bitches you, beer face, you beer face you bitches. You beer face bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could get throwbacks with all of the distractions that's going on, it's you a motherfucker. It's so many like so many Dude TVs Brown came through that motherfucker. Dude Brown killed. killed. Yeah. Marcus Combs came mm, and fucked it up. Killed. Marvin Dixon. Bitch. Like, it was yeah. just and then like Zoo always would come. Shout out to Zoo and, the and Goat. It and like, it was always if it, if it looked up. like it was rough, it would be a one nigga that come and shine in that motherfucker. Cause it was right. like I don't know tonight. I don't know. Tonight. Man, you know these niggas is season like shit. I don't nigga, know. Los nice, murdering. It'd be nice with throwbacks. I start the show. Mm -hmm. It might be seven motherfuckers in there. 
but by the time I bring the somebody head on to up. the stage, nigga, ear, even the dope boys shooting pool. Hey, bro, be quiet, bro. Let bro talk. <laughs> hey, no, nah, that's when you real, real, real that's niggas that's respect, control, bro. That room, when I man. get that, it's, it's swole to the back. He be like, boy, it was eight niggas in here when I started. I got that bitch hot, hot. I'm telling you, I, they used to bring the microphone to, king. to the parking lot. When I pull up, man, you walk up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. He be sitting in the car. He's right there. He's right there. Bruh. Don't make me. When he had the, um, when he first dropped the goddamn Run Jordan Jumpman logo, mm-hmm. that nigga came throwbacks and sold a bunch of them bitches. What are you talking about? He had like, oh, well, took on on the that merch. wing home, nigga. I, 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 I had to see what was going on. You, you gotta have your foot in the street. Yo, yeah. This is the state goddamn shark. Throwbacks. So like, I, I looked at comedy strategic when I first like started doing it, and I was like, okay, Uptown is a place I want to go and do good at. Yeah. And I said, all right, if I can go and do good at throwbacks, then I know I can go do good at Uptown. When I did it good at throwbacks, I was like, all right, it's a wrap. Like, it's over with. Because the night I went, it was some motherfucking headhunters in there. Sean Larkins was in there. Mm. Double D. What's your boy from Detroit? Um, the nigga said, ah, shit. Tony Roberts. No, 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 no. Light skin, your homie that got the weed and shit. Dang it. F- uh, nah. f- foolish. Foolish. Foolish, foolish is an under... Shout out to God Destroy Listen, These are all niggas that will come through there. Like any any nigga that came and did uptown I think stop Perry and throw that. It was like fifteen Bro, of the Perry best came to that motherfucker Atlanta. and took off ten belts. He did the belt <laughs> joke. <laughs> but it's like we knew the niggas already. Like so right. we were booking them as fans. So right. like we would book niggas for some, like the dude. Like bro, please do this one joke. Like yeah. Randy Jordan came that bitch. He had to do the honey the bun honey joke because he's from it. the south side. And everybody was like, man, bro, you got to do that motherfucker. <laughs> and I would walk around like I can't do it if I ain't headlining. Like, yes, sir. Hey, y'all making me take this shit down memory lane, bro. It's like I remember, like when he was like, bro, I'm trying, like, to, I'm trying to do my shit so I can get ready for the other shit. You got to It's certain shit that you got to do. You got to do the Ruben, Ruben study, and you got to do the hundred bucks. You, got, fans you got to do fat nigga at the dough. You got to yeah. do nigga with titties. Ooh. And these are like, this Ooh, before that's he go up. Thirty minutes. But I'm saying, yeah, that's the whole set. This, right. this, yeah. this, yeah. this, yeah. this you got to do your whole set tonight. I don't know. <laughs> Nigga, this throwbacks. We chilling, eating wings as we go up. We go right. up on the side and smoke weed, but everybody walking by at us telling them, bro, you better do the honey boy. <laughs> hey, like that. I'm talking about the <laughs> killers. The killers. <laughs> the killers. Hey, and, it, and his room was nicer than like uh, Sean Locker had Frozen <clears throat> Palace. Man. Frozen, Frozen Palace was like Palace. throwbacks, except with some more guns and dope <laughs> on, like, <laughs> on the table. <laughs> like this on the BMF rough, era. This yeah. how rough Frozen <laughs> Palace was, man. Mm. And this, I keep saying he was, because he was there most of the time. Yeah. Like, nigga, Frozen Palace, they used to have nice that be so rough. This nigga, Sean, <laughs> would call niggas. He'd call me many times, like 12 o'clock, and be like, man, come close this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and my bullshit. No, he called you, bro. I don't care where you at. At midnight, my bro. Lineup, it'd be like, Robin Ann, Pooh Carter. Robin. Uh, Robin. 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 Otis. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 Smokey from Macon. Smokey from Macon. Man, a pig. Squirt. Got no squirt. <laughs> Shot it coming, but he gonna act like he don't wanna go up. Shot it, shot it. was Hollywood in that bitch. Shot it straight to the little Shot it, come up here and do something. Nigga, I see you. Shot it, you should stun on them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. wasn't wrong because he was done wilding out at that point and he had a, he was niggas still shouting shout 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 on radio, yeah, he was on niggas' little, album. Man, that's video, the thing. Like, motherfuckers be right. forgetting that motherfuckers made history around this bitch because everybody made some. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, speaking of made history, you was in the, you just, Big Crit just mentioned because you was on his album, you did the high end country shit. Oh, nigga, that's some classic. How was that from, because I know that's your nigga, y'all from the sip, but it's like, now you in history forever. You own this. Bro, it's out. just like Mississippi's so small, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like for niggas to be where I'm from and for me to be a fan first, and then it's like people been saying for so long I've been in the entertainment when you gonna do something with Ben, when you gonna do something with Chris. So it's like, nigga, they already in the realm. Right. We just hadn't we hadn't officially stamped it and said, This is what we doing. Did y'all know crazy. each other before you got, I guess, home? No, this the thing is like 
I was I was a huge fan from the jump because right. it's Mississippi. I'm fucking Mississippi. And, you and that nigga snapping. You like shit, you I like that's what I'm saying. I didn't know that Rick, he was oh, a yeah, fan yeah, he of came, me he came too. In. So, oh yeah. Okay. So it's like when we finally linked up, we had, we was on a show. So we did. You know, oh, like that's great. Just booked the comedy show and then they had a rapper. So and then that's when y'all met. Yeah. Yeah. What year was it? This is when yeah. Crit was here? That's crazy. Came yeah, this is a while ago. A couple, couple years ago. Crit was here was a good year. What is that? That's the thing. I, like, as long as we've been fans, we hadn't officially linked up to maybe mm-hmm. a couple years ago. Wow. So then, he was like, bro, you fuck with my music? I'm like, man, I know all your goddamn music. <laughs> yeah, bro, we from Mississippi, <laughs> nigga. He was like, bro, I fuck with y'all, man. I'm like, nigga, no, nah, nah, you don't understand, nigga. We been, I've been on the on the, on the the hunt for you and Banner. It's something we supposed to do for Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Y'all know what the fuck it is yet. Right. It's yeah. like, the superpowers got to link up. Y'all do the music I done kind of gonna give it all the other motherfuckers and something gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So it's like, finally did the shit. And he's like, bro, you fuck with my music like that? I'm like, nigga. He like, he's working on the album. And then he's like, I gotta play you some shit. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know this shit. He played me some music. I'm like, bro, this shit hard as a motherfucker. What the on, fuck? Bro. Drop this bitch right now, you bullshit. Ooh, and then, right. he was, you know, he always put that my sub shit on me. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yes. He always, it's the, it's the fucking the continuation, yeah. Right. Bro, he didn't put the shit on the album. Yeah, so yeah. when I told him, he was like, nah, I ain't gonna do it. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Bro, nigga went on tour, and the people was like, bro, what what, what, am, what am I sub at? Right, yeah. nigga, like, do the honey bun nigga, joke. And nigga called <laughs> right. me back. The nigga called me and was like, bro, I'm about to do that bitch right now. Come Send on. It to you. Man, that motherfucker sent me that shit. I was like, man. He dropped that motherfucker on tour. So anytime you listen to wow. the motherfucking ballad of the bass, just know I'm the nigga told that nigga make this Come shit. Come on, man. Hey, it's man. black history, man. That's yeah, hard, damn, bro. Bro. yeah, but that's my dog. I, yeah. It's hard for yeah. me to die. I be looking at Carlos just smiling. Like, I remember this nigga was the fuck you the, mean, look, dog. Like he was always funny and the old niggas was stressed. I'm t- <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you the old niggas was Bruh, stressed because they used niggas to act like they didn't know me for the longest. And then I used to go to every night. I went to the white folk night, I went to the weirdo night, I went to the empty night, I went Come to on. the late night. I used to host this show, it wasn't nothing but lesbians, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. In, bro, I used to host shit at the Apache Cafe. Them niggas hated me the first Wait, time. you do have some premium there. lesbian jokes, uh. But I, that's the whole thing. You know your time in, nigga. You yeah, know? yeah. I did all kind of shows, man. I, there was this one club. I don't even remember the fuck it is. It was like a house. <laughs> like, you go upstairs and you was just like in somebody's crib. I was like, and we used to have comedy shows on the late night on that bitch, man. That's wild. You ain't talking about on Lowry. I don't even know if, I don't remember what. I, I would pull up to all that shit, shit dog. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. Where is but I had hustled up. Up. I hustled it up, man. Yeah. I had a comedy night. I was hosting a night every night of the week. Mm-hmm. Yo, man, yeah, shout out to your work fucking ethic, man. I appreciate bro, it. Bro, you do not because sleep. Because when there's some shit that you are too busy to do or they don't have enough money, they call me to do it. Come on now. Bro, I'm like, and too. they love telling me that shit. Uh, hey, man, you know what I mean? We had Carlo, man, but he can't do it. So we come try on, see, man. We try to see you free on Saturday. Bro. Like, yeah, yeah, you had to tell me that. But yeah, but I'm going to do it. But Look how it works. <laughs> I'm starting to get some of your they calls. Love, that shit's I've been hilarious. told that at least, and I'm not even bullshitting 30 times hey, man, in bro. my career. So thank you, brother, for working. Because it's like, man, you start thinking about it. You be grinding like a motherfucker, but then it's like, I got so much shit going on with 85 South Show. It's some shit that's just, I can't get to. Yeah, yeah. You gotta work, you gotta do your right, own bro, shit. it's yeah. niggas that hit me to promote us, they be like, man, what you think 85 South Show? Like, you can't is, book them. You can't. <laughs> I be like, they unbookable. I can give you the number, but they, they I'm gonna so take- I'm so glad you all did that can't be booked tour, because I can't be booked is the hardest shit. That was shit. texting me, because you know, I hit you every once in a while, like, right. yeah, I got a dope boy, and such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then you like, no, nope, yeah, just ain't no room, because it's like, I just, the way I line my shit up is, I don't like to be unproductive. I hate this whole slow down mm-hmm. shit right now because it's mm-hmm. like I'll be trying to I want to get good at every goddamn thing the game got you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying I'm gonna shoot the movie I'm gonna write that motherfucker come on man I'm gonna coloring book it's like I got right. so much shit that I want to do I don't, there is the 85 South movie I know that motherfucker everybody been man we court. have wrote three lines to it <laughs> come on now <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody that's gonna really sit down and do it. Man, man. we really working on a whole bunch of shit like that. But Keep then at the same time, we still want to use the platform to open it up to other cool shit mm-hmm. and blow the shit up even bigger. You know yeah. what I mean? We're trying to move like a whole network around. Yo, shout like, out to Dad Green. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Nav said, man, man, been on TV to... had a whole bunch of credits, but ain't, it's damn near not a bigger credit than being on 85. Man, mm-hmm. shout out to everybody that fucked with us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all, yeah. all of the times y'all came through and fucked with it, because it's like, that's exactly 
exactly what it's for. That was the whole point of creating it. it was like, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, y'all pipe me right the fuck back up. But I would, <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all, y'all niggas pipe me right. I would yes, pipe. Sir, hey, nigga, nigga, I need the whole thing now, but I'm an 85. I don't know oh, what you're talking about. I know you, I you living in it, man, but like, you get, like when you're on that motherfucking show. No, it was like times he was like, pull up, man. I'm on a lot of 80, like the early shit. He's yeah, like, man, man, we smoking this in the car. He's like, watch what, watch what I do, Ron and Joy. Fuck with me. And he telling me, subliminally, he telling me, start your own shit. Come on. Build you some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah, like. Yeah, that's what we got to have more gotcha. of, man. We got to keep our own shit going. Because we got thoughts and views and opinions about a lot of shit that they, well, you know, that's why I wanted to create the platform. Mm-hmm. So I can show these motherfuckers I can do more than what you think. Bro, yeah. we've definitely been taught a lesson about, like, having and owning your shit. Hell yeah. Bro, because. Man, it just give you a whole nother different kind of feeling. It give you a different confidence mm-hmm. knowing that you have something that's securely yours. Where you have, where your opinion matters, your decisions matter. Your team looks forward to what you bring to the table. Mm-hmm. You know, you got like-minded individuals that got the same common goal, and that's just to make this shit dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody that worked their ass off to make that shit go, though. Shout yeah. out to the team, for real, bro. And then that's what it's all about. It's just like, man, if this your dream, right, you want to do this yeah. And then, you know, we're trying to get this shit together. Why wouldn't you put your own bar on and let them get good while you get good? Come on, man. Real you cool. might run, you run into motherfuckers that's good, that want to show you that they good, man. And it's like, shit, what, we can exchange on the information highway. You know some game on, man, get around this motherfucker right. shit. Right. And that's the type of shit that drive me in the whole game. Because it's like, we don't, get to, we don't get to kick it like that and get game from motherfuckers. So that's why it'd be cool to meet people who leave you with some game. That shit better than a picture. That Money and all that shit. All that shit. When you get to have a real moment and somebody tell you some real shit. Yeah. They look yeah. in your face and tell you some shit that actually means something. Yeah. yeah. Come on. That's the, that's the coldest shit, bro. So that's what people, you know, like look up to motherfuckers. Because they be thinking, like, if I ever meet them, they're going to do that. They're going to do some extra shit and, like, help me help myself. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's hey, the crazy shit. shit. Quick idea. Do it or don't. You know what I'm saying? You should have a dope ass coloring book. <laughs> That's your shit. With your cars in it. Mm. Ooh, the Chevy color book. I don't know book. if you do like telepathy or some shit, but that was that was already in. The- I'm gonna show you some. Oh wow! Come on now, don't don't. <laughs> no, I, don't Eric Dutch is reading I, I, that. Bro, I, I mean, love, bro. I, I, not because I, I this got lady. A, I got a joke like this lady that made me a shirt <laughs> with, one of, with like some of my car shit on it. She, I show it to you. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, Kinda. we were talking about your uh, philanthropic an- uh, efforts earlier. Mm. I seen I seen your manager. Uh, Ricky posted the, the, the whip you shot her for her birthday, man. Yes. Wow. Beautiful yeah. car. Beautiful yeah, she car. She said she had been looking for a convertible Mustang. Oh, man. What? Certain, That's what's up. Certain year, on, certain um, condition. Oh, man. Yes. 65? Yes. That's a class show up on the way. door. I love black Don't people with shit that white people Ooh, really want. Shout out Ricky Hughes, man. Yeah, man, you know that's, to Ricky. Man, that shit is, the cars are an obsession. Yeah. It's a disgusting habit at this Damn, point. It's, it's gross. And uh, this worst I, habit my name is Carlos yep. Miller, and I have a, <laughs> I have a used car addiction. <laughs> hey, Come listen, on, every black man, 12 year old, you got a piece of your bank account. But, yeah. Yeah, that's like, what hey, you got that shit for the shoes and the cars? Oh, man. 12 year old, you got it. It ain't even man, you doing that shit. You can just, you grow up to be the, the, the kid that you were. And I literally would used to go like places with two or 300 Hot Wheels. You know what I mean? <laughs> But you had a bag? Oh, you? Oh, you? Yes. Bro, don't, you had a high oh, wheel box? That got it wrong with you. Man, here come Lowe's. Like, oh, hey, hold, hold on. on. Nah, 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 this ain't no cap on my rap. I'm going to tell you how many high wheel cars I had. You know the bag that the comforters come in? I had like three of them full of high wheels. Three? Wheel. What? Yeah. For the bag. Yeah. Just full of hot wheels. Bro, that's 8,000 yeah, That's wheels. Bro. <laughs> nah, I, didn't, I didn't even have that many Legos. When my cousins used to come over my house, my mama used to check all their pockets at the Dope. That's how many. Because <laughs> my, mom, my mom wheels, used to thinking. go to like yard sales and estate sales right. and everything. Bro, Damn, I early you, on. I, I was the first nigga in the hood to have like over 100 G.I. Joe's. 
Oh, Ooh, yeah, you was that me. nigga. Oh, yeah, like sir. I said, G.I. Joe's so every Kills. Niggas was sure. trying to have a sleepover at your house, wasn't man, it? Man, nigga, yeah. That nigga said over 100 G.I. Joe. I didn't even know. Bro, I had a nigga like that name. Well, my childhood, yeah. people think I'm lying all the time, man. That's I crazy. Bro, when really my mother here. passed away, like, right. all the pictures are, like, in storage. So, like, when I go home the next time and I get, like, all my childhood pictures, you are not going to believe this shit, bro. I really got pictures, and I had four toy boxes stacked up behind that bitch. Yeah, boy. And then oh, I'm no, my, my scooter right there. Shut my the fuck up, right bro. Oh, my big wheel you is right here. Boy, and privilege. my bike is against the fucking door. I promise you, you we was living no there. Castle, but school, I don't though. know if my folks was in the drug game or what. Boy, but I remember, man, I remember charging my power wheel, three wheeler, in oh, the kitchen man. and charging the four wheeler in the bedroom. Bro, are you are you Tyler oh, Perry, son? Bro, like, nigga, you got a lot of money. One light on in my house. My, 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 my grandma was the candy lady for like 20 years. I was sitting on oil, oh, bro. Could you please oh, yeah. drop a mixtape and have that as the album bro, cover with I the kid my pictures Ooh, from my that'd be dope. I gotta drop six mixtapes. That would be dope What's as up, shit. What's up, man? We got, I gotta get, man, you had a beat. I, I made Carlos a beat a long bro, time ago. No way. Like the, <laughs> nigga, I had. The, the ones that you, you, you couldn't be in? The, the ones that. Some just, of WWF? Like, that was strong as plastic, like, nigga, rubber? The one with Hulk Hogan was like this. Yes, yeah, nigga, I had yeah. him. I had him. Junkyard dog. Yeah, nigga, I what? I look like him. Wrestling. Your baby cousin chew on that motherfucker. Get Ultimate. the shit out of your mouth. Or a dog. I had Iron Sheik. I had the key to cold off. I had goddamn. I had the Iron Sheik. I had the USSR Sheik. Yep. And, the, and, and the toes that went up. I had Coco Beware. Yeah. Coco Beware. That's a nigga. I want that on a hoodie so bad. You had the whole set? You had the castle bracelet. Y'all niggas privileged, bro. I had a couple. You had the castle, nigga? I had the castle. I had to mix he man with G.I. Joe's when it was a war. Yeah, I, I, was, I, was, I was famous. <laughs> yes, you were for the whole castle, nigga. <laughs> I was famous. I was <laughs> no, yes. Childhood famous oh, niggas. Man. Everybody knew. Come I was on, the first man. nigga in the hood with a Sega Genesis. If you had the, if you had the castle gray skull and the G.I. Joe base. Yo, you were the first nigga in your neighborhood with a Sega? Genesis. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. That's, Whoa. That's, hey, that's, that's like you had a three farm, button move, bro. That's, that's, wow. that's a big stunt, That nigga had a nigga, farm, I took two bro. buses to play Genesis. Yeah, nigga, sir. my games was that's trash. Amazing. My auntie had a shopper network addiction, and I had, like, math on Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> shit, the wackest <laughs> shit ever, bro. Hey, bro, every time I get some, my mom be like, man, your daddy, you a good guy. Like, I don't know if they, like, link back up. Like, I got Jordans one year. It was just like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Slide back every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Where Jordan, Jordan, Jordans was? Jordan 4s. Oh. The 4s? Yeah. Oh, you killed. The 4s? Yeah. They had a Sega and 4s? Ooh. You was living. Yeah. Bro, I had, I had the Michael Jordan poster that was on the door. You what? know, them shit's no worth like six hundred dollars. Life size shit, <laughs> huh? Yes. The life size drink? Yeah, it was. It was That's uh, another thing. Yeah, I still got my post. original fives. Original? The so, uh, fives I had when I was a little boy. I that bro, was my bro. first Jordan. Them shit might go for twenty bands right, right now. I had to get straight A's for them yeah, shit. The black, the black ones with the. No, they was white. I had the white, the fresh print. I had them the first day they came out. Mm. Me too. That, that was my yeah, favorite shoe, bro. Fives. Fives, bro. Shout out to the Jordan Fives. The fives came Shout out to Because Fresh Prince came on without the shoe strings on the niggas. My like, own. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> niggas had with the shoe strings on. Fives for house shoes. What, what, where, you at, where you at a shoe? What's your count, man? Bro, I, didn't lost. Really, I didn't really feel back on them because I'm like, I ain't nowhere to go now. We were just talking mm. about that earlier. I, but I, I keep, out, man, I got a gang of shoes, man. I'm probably in I ain't gonna even say no number, but I got enough. Shannon, I got enough new shoes, new shoes to wear them for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have more no. shoes than Hot Wheels? <laughs> Hell That's yeah. a bar. Mattress bag full of shoes. That's shit. a bar. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get, cause it's like, you know what I mean? I was working on TV like a lot. Like, you know, you have to wear a lot of different shoes. Bruh. And Speaking then sometimes TV. I, buy, I bring a lot of mine, and then sometimes after you wear them, you know, they want you to get them. They give them to you, and mm -hmm. you can work something out to get them. Mm -hmm. They want you to get to a certain level. They come on, baby. Come on, come, come on, on, baby. On, you know, it's, it's, it, it was cool to see like the semi-subliminal sneaker war against all the vets on Wild and Out. It's like, every show. It's every show. Show they go crazy, like it's not day every show, it might be three shit. shows yeah. a day. Conceited didn't think he got it, but sometimes then Chico come slick. out with some shit, right. then yeah. Carlos come out with some shit. But Conceited like, wears okay. a four, so it's but like he, kinda, nigga, he, he got samples. He got shoes. samples. Yeah, have you seen the way it go though? Like every, like you gotta do, you gotta have some exclusives, you gotta have some some um, designers. You gotta like, have you gotta a designer, yeah. Just one pair just cause. Of everything in there. Yeah, then you gotta have like a, a throwback. Uh, you know, just a wild card. 
my mm, crazy like, color. You might throw a, a out of season shoe in there just to show niggas you for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, niggas niggas throw season. a snow boot in there. Or something. I've been just out of season. Yeah. So so speaking of wilding out, man, where were you at when you, when you heard that you got fired for a second time, man? <laughs> 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 Twitter. Right, Twitter, social media. Yeah. Just, I got the news like the world did. Man. That's yeah, crazy. Don't hit me and give me no heads up. What about my feelings? <laughs> nah, nah, you, know, you know me. You've been on the set. You know I got the most strangest artist relationship man, with the wild. That shit's so funny to me. <laughs> but it's just like most of that nigga that throw the ball at practice, like <laughs> like everybody like really paying attention. Man, fuck this shit, bro. He done said like like, like they coming up like all right. So we gonna do this. We gonna do that. We gonna do this you like man hell no nah. <laughs> like, like how because i remember like your first season you become i remember you would go shoot and come back you'd be like man these nigga be telling right. it and shit but at the, <laughs> at the same time he hold the show together oh he because he's movie. one of the only comedians that will hold motherfuckers that ain't doing well accountable mm. and it's a television show yeah so you shouldn't let a motherfucker ride for not being funny That's yeah deep. for That's sure but what i said was like, just to kind of like you stuck it out and like you're like a leader right but 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 check this out that's the that's my whole frustration with it if i didn't i wouldn't be there mm. like i didn't I, they didn't give me the whole the leeway of well you know it'll be fine you'll be good in that's 50 heard, seasons it's, it's, it's changed when they get well eventually right. he'll get good no man y'all man y'all wanted me to have some yeah. guys y'all i heard it was cutthroat when you first y'all yes. first started yeah bro that's yes. just so good i'm that's talking about home for one was, bomb but i'm just saying oh, it was just one like, joke bad just damn. like bro they wouldn't even, it was just like waiting to find out if you own the show and then trying to figure out something to do doing this whole shit. Like, ah, the, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Motherfucker, tell me something. No, go and wait. Go to the chambers. We shall decide later. <laughs> you have a smoke tent right, now. So that's why I be getting frustrated when people are like, man, y'all be rehearsing that shit. I'm like, man, I can't. Yeah, I, I, need, I don't even know if I'm working tomorrow. <laughs> when am I pre- that's, that's some you, job but pressure. But they don't understand. I have to watch it all these episodes. They don't understand it. It's about 60 of these fucking games. Who the fuck got time to... Man, come on, bro. Even bro, if they're and it got to be something fresh and new. You can tell about what he said about me and how I work up there. I wouldn't go to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not many times I done walked in like, I'm here. I'm going back to get a sandwich. <laughs> what are you going to say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes ain't funny if you rehearse it, man. You got to know. Like, that's mm. the part. Mm. Shit, you gotta this is what I do. I make people laugh. So just Right. Thing. Trust me. Let me Bitch, do it. You heard me as a comedian. You ain't asking the rapper what he going to say. <laughs> oh, talk your shit. Talk Bruh, about it. I ain't never go, made a nigga rap Bruh, his bars they'll out. They'll be like, Carlos. Right. Let me hear you. Just give us something that we can block out for camera. I'll be like, the red wolf lays down and scratches his nuts and grabbing butts in the cut. The nigga, so what? And then I just kick off a whole freestyle and have everybody in the room and they be like, okay. <laughs> Eat him. Man, listen. Everybody that watched one of them, they That's everybody hilarious. that watched the show don't know. Like, then oh, when I go on stage, what I do? Boom. Something completely different. Uh, They're like, Lowe's. <laughs> You would have told us we could have got the four. <laughs> we could have got the four. <laughs> the four. They want that four, though. Don't deny them that four, bro. <laughs> they want the four. I just, I'm not the <laughs> type of comedian. <laughs> Not prepared. That's amazing though, bro. That's that to like, live in a moment. The spontaneity is the beauty of the joke. Oh, the art, yeah. Hey man, congratulations being on the Boogie uh slam. Oh my Jesus. Boom. The comedy special that on Amazon going crazy. Boogie. That went off. My boy came in there and got with? on the yeah, I fucked with it, bro. It was cool. <laughs> it was you. It was just this how this nigga talk. That's how yeah, I be Matt t- Barnes the realest nigga in <laughs> Matt Barnes the realest <laughs> nigga in that. Your mama on child support. Boy. Boy, <laughs> you here. Yo, he got he got t shirt shit, B. <laughs> Yo, were your jokes his t shirts? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Shout out sure. to Matt Barnes, man. That nigga's one of the coolest motherfuckers I ever met. Man. And he did all of that. He whooped the coach ass. Mm-hmm. Mm. Derek yeah. Fisher, everybody know, though. That's the funny part. We know who we talking about. While we right. doing shout out, shout out to Rod Rose, because he uh, Rose. You know, Rose. H- helped that show become a show. Yeah. Yeah. Word. The Rose. boogie. The bug. Oh, man. Boogie. Well, shout out to Rod Rose. He made that shit happen then. Yeah, so, hell yeah. The boogie shit was dope. Man. That shit was fly. Got a big reaction. 
showing love. Right. You know, I really got to chill in there and really get some shit off. That's mm-hmm. hard. Got to work with some some of my, my partners and shit. And it was it was dope, man. Oakland hey, man. be showing so much love when you go down to the Bay. Yeah, yeah man. Niggas West be Coast so love proud different. to have company, man. If you find the right, <laughs> 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 right niggas from the Bay, they gonna show you hella love, man. Come I'm on, telling you, man. man. You finna go get on these bitches. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> hey. So, yeah, we finna do all of that. You feel you me, my nigga? I'm finna show you much love, nigga. This how we do Hey, <laughs> nigga, love. hella love. Damn, it is, hella nigga, it is. <laughs> hella bitches, hella weed, nigga. You at home, nigga. You at home, nigga. <laughs> nigga, for real, nigga. Cause the way you move, nigga, you already like a bait nigga anyway. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Those you feel me? Those niggas really be out there, man. I fuck with them niggas. Shout out to my nigga like Mr. Fab and Louis Bell. Yeah. Man, the whole Bay JT, area bigger, bigger, man. Yeah. yeah, shout out to JT, the bigger Man, feet. my nigga JT, uh, my nigga Selly Cell out that bitch, man. Mm. Nigga, the OG Selly Cell. Wow. Yes. Yeah, man. All them niggas. Sell fuck with, fuck with the whole, the whole Bay, man. Did you see the No Limit doc where they talked about Master nigga, P started yes. the Bay in Richmond? That was a good doc. Man, ain't seen me able to talk, man. Yeah, it's two, yeah, it's three parts. It's four parts. Yeah. The first two came out. Three yeah. and four coming out. That shit, yeah. that that shit look good, dope. It should be a lot, like 20, because he dropped like 50. Yeah, because all the shit you heard about him wasn't enough to that you know you didn't know about him. Right. Yeah. Like, all and, I was like, oh my God, really? God damn. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to ruin it for you. I, did, That's all good. I really enjoyed the boogie shit, too. I wish that uh, yeah. I wish it was uh, more available. A lot of people had trouble like actually accessing it and finding it. Yeah. Everybody got Amazon, so I'm going to shout it yeah. out everywhere I go. Shout out to them. Oh, they sent, yeah, they sent me a promo. Amazon. They sent me a promo code, Prime? man. Shout out to Prime. I read it. I paid for five. Oh, what's up? You can go to uh, I still Amazon made. Prime and you yeah. can buy it or you can, you can rent it. it. Oh, that's what's up. Speaking of that, Tijuana Jackson, that shit funny as hell, bro. Man, he yeah, was doing that character, bro. Romney Malco. He's a legend, bro. He don't get his flowers, bro. Romney you know Malco. Who else is a legend. Talk Speaking about it. Speaking of just niggas who don't get their flowers, I ain't mean to Go ahead, bro. Slink Johnson. Mm. Shout out to Smoke mm. Yours over there. Slink. Black Jesus. Slink. Slink. Black Jesus. Slink Johnson. And the whole Super Run Rumble mix show, Carl Jones. Like, that's the type of shit that, like, lives on, you know, that yeah. shit. They took all that shit off the internet for some reason, but yeah. that was the shit. Yeah, he was revolutionary. Me. That was like the first, like Black Jesus, like the really first black people smoking weed TV show. Man. Yeah. That schedules, that shit was so funny. Look at you niggas, man. <laughs> that shit was Always hilarious. That's, bro. Say my baby, say get him out the street. <laughs> Nigga, that was your mom. <laughs> Why you go kiss your mom? That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> man, I what was you last night? Nigga, I was nigga. I went to Egypt, man. This lady was having twins. And you out here. They reached birth, man. They came feet first, man. One of them motherfuckers cancer and shit. And that shit just be the coldest shit. But that shit that you don't know. That's hilarious. Yeah, shout out Slink. Shout out to Slink. Hell yeah. Yes, indeed. Hey, I got a question about, uh, we was talking about, you know, going on the road and shit. 85, man, with, with, with terms of what's the, the liveest city overall, you believe? I know it you- was a surprise. Well, we came. To, I can't specifically say what was the live city. I can tell you one that surprised me the most. There we go. I'm in mean, fucking Minnesota. What? So we got some real niggas, obviously. Minnesota and Pittsburgh. They set off the revolution. Pittsburgh. Yeah, okay. Pittsburgh, I see Pittsburgh. It was just people walking up to the stage the whole time. Like, we gotta go <laughs> back to Pittsburgh because they just, like, man, this is no cap. About 100 women just walked up to the stage. They, everybody just walking up, saying what the fuck they wanted to say. <laughs> During the show. Up, that bitch with blunts. Like, nigga, we just glad y'all came. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all thought we wasn't coming. <laughs> <laughs> like, if there's any place we gotta go and actually do the show, it's gotta be Pittsburgh. Because anybody who went to the Pittsburgh show and tell you they didn't get no show because motherfuckers were wow. just coming up the yeah. whole time. You know, some That's cities, great. motherfuckers will get booked there and never show up. So they, they just was yeah, man. the promoter be crazy. Oh, like, oh, here yeah. he go again. But got this though, promoter, just jug- like, promoter might be jugging niggas yeah. in the city. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Bud Dupree, man. It's we Pittsburgh Steelers. Bud Dupree. Nah, I know that, but that's just how the city works. That's what's. I don't, I don't like the fucking with promoters. Hey man, be your own promoter, man. How's that? That shit is so dope because it's like you can finally have shit go smooth mm. and not have to worry about this and that and no bullshit. Like, just do, you can just go do the show. It brought the integrity, right. it brought the integrity aspect to it to me because it's like, right. 
And I'm, I would much rather take a chance on myself than to just let somebody pay me. Mm. Come on, right. so, time stamp. So, bro, <laughs> come right. on, man. I'd much rather take a chance on myself. So it's like, it just opened up the business and put everything on the up and up. Like, this, it ain't no way to fake this. This is really what, what we made, and this is it. This is what we didn't sell, and this is it. Like, it brought some integrity to the table, as opposed to motherfuckers being sneaky and be like, well, I guess, you know, I, yeah. I thought we was going, you know. But that's those a walk up time. Straight across the board, people rather could respect it more than them games that promoted that play. Right. So true shit. And, and it opened up a whole nother market as far as, you know, things that I like. I you like did. On, I like to be on the other side. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah. We got to get to a point where women show titties at our show. Man, everybody yeah, respect my marriage out here, bro. I don't like that shit. Y'all niggas married as fuck. That's what it is. They don't respect <laughs> me too much, bro. Or they, they, or they got a... You want to see titties too? Nigga, yeah. Nigga, yeah. Shout out to Nate Jackson's twerk circus, nigga. Yeah. That shit oh, get the party man. going. They get the oh, party yeah, going. speak titties until you're around. I, see, I can't, that's the part <laughs> I don't want to do yeah, he because... Can't, he can't ask I can't titties, have a paper trail. Yeah, you just got to be blessed with titties. You to speak, you just you have to conjure titty. I will be in Remo. Do be in Remo. Do be in Remo. Do be in Remo. Do be What else you want? What you need to see, bro? So, yeah, you should. I want some casseroles. All right, let's do casserole love. Yeah, we love. We got a little older crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got we, yeah, we get some we some R and B version of what y'all doing. We like, uh, R and B adult I contemporary. He trying to scrub in. He trying to steal good girl gourmet from you, Tyler. You better watch out. You talking about casseroles? <laughs> you know, talking about them casseroles coming. <laughs> casserole. Shit, we ain't gonna have any. We talk to the casserole community. Hey man, eighty five vibe man. Like that's what I said. Like you one of the best executive producers in the game because like you put shit on the internet that like niggas can smoke to and just be like, I ain't even know about this, but God damn it. You know, right. like schooly, amazing. Bro, mm -hmm. if you look up damn near anything that happened in Atlanta history with rap, Schooly was right there, bro. bro. Schooly a motherfucking legend. That nigga done lived through <laughs> three five, bro, at least 10 different phases of rap in Atlanta. Right. From the swag Come to on, the goddamn man. black boy, white boy shit. Come on, bro. Yeah. White boy. If you look black boy, white boy coming back. I was a rich man. Did it ever face It's was trying to bring it back. It's this old ass <laughs> rap battle with like Young Thug in like high school or something. School is standing right there. <laughs> that nigga schoolie, that nigga schoolie for his gun. Shout out to schoolie. <laughs> schoolie really be everywhere. If you yeah. think about it. Shout yeah, out to yeah. the rich kids, bro. Show Go back and look at some of that, that old two chain shit. Schoolie standing right up. So he was Bow Wow, but we don't know. Nigga. No, schoolie was schoolie, nigga. Schoolie was I there. Fuck with, I fuck with schoolie and all them them rich kids, man. Dog. And it's like I fuck with the street execs mm -hmm. and, and two chains and. and Shot Cap one and everybody who Cap, got, hey man. Know, yeah. Shout out to the parking lot Travis concert Porter. series. Shout hey, out. The Travis Porter reunion look crazy, y'all. It's a whole yeah, generation of Travis crazy. Porter kids Travis out here. Porter they, really the did Travis Porter make kids them are 30, y'all. Do you realize are they, that? Are they? They performed at our Christmas show. Yes, nigga, we can't, I was there late, I missed them. That was the first show or the second show? First show. Yep. Damn, I missed the we first show. Travis Porter. We had to. I seen Dro. Dro, but that shit for so long, like that's we had, crazy. Uh, Black Bowl on there first. Yeah, was Quiz, you know he changed yeah. his name. Black really? Bowl. Yes. He go by Black Bowl now. He do a lot more music shit, producing that shit. Mm -hmm. Him and Sonny Digital got a dope ass Ooh. mixtape. Y'all should check that out. Don't know I fuck with Sonny D. Yeah. Sonny Digital. Shout out to Sonny Digital. In the game. He got a dope ass weed line too. Should I do? He do? Yes. Yeah, with uh, Lobos. Love, that's like a pre roll shit. It's got some Keith on the outside. It's strong as a motherfucker. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Are we going to get some 85 South Cannabis products? Are y'all working on the D? Man, I don't know. All right, you know, I don't, I'm the type of nigga just be getting money. I don't want to do shit. Be illegal, you know what I mean? I don't know all the parameters around this shit. I don't know, man. That shit sound like a setup for me. Right. <laughs> you know, white people so unforgiving. You know, they'll let you put your name on it and rock for a good little minute. You know how that motherfucker is. I don't yeah. know if I want my own weed. I want like my own bag, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I need to be it. in the business like that. It's just like, man, yeah, I'm, I'm black. You know, it's mm -hmm. fuck around and be trying to take something to work home with me. <laughs> 
Hey, <laughs> try to take some of the work home. The dopest you. shit though during the quarantine is watching like DC Young Fly mature, like right in front of us. Mm. Yeah, like he's, he's it's like I love that nigga. You never know what the fuck mood he in. <laughs> what, what perspective he gonna take? Right. But then, like people, people just be he ain't he's still getting to it. Yes, a lot of it. people be missing the moments of just like they only catch like the big animated shit they do, and I don't think a lot of people have really just sat down and peeked at the, like perspective that bro got. Bro, he was just some game. Yeah, no cap. He been through so much shit, bro. So he, I, I definitely respect his point of view. Yeah, right. And that's why this shit worked because it's like I'm really working with motherfuckers I enjoy to be around. Mm -hmm. that's real. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just that's just how we always been around each other. So the show that we do is shit that we would have said whether we were recording that shit or not. Speaking, of that, I'm at the post office today and shit. Uh oh. And uh, I hear a little girl. You know, she she talking. She sounds real young, but she's got a real proper. You know, voice and shit. And, I, and I'm turning around, I'm like, oh, this girl's like four or five years old. She's real little, sounding like an adult. I'm like, oh shit, this, that's Nova. His DC daughter sounding better than that nigga sound. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I mean, you can't really go and say, hey, you know, I'm on TV with your daddy. But <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird. But I saw in there. That's hilarious. Those did say you look like Tyler, be safe around your kids. <laughs> <laughs> See, that shit was <laughs> on the commentary shit. I was a coach. Them niggas, motherfuckers keep calling me coach on Wild and Out. It makes sense. Tyler has lived seven lives. Brother, bro, I know, man. I, I remember this, this nigga <laughs> was a security guard. Come <laughs> on oh, now, that nigga worked that last chance you and everything. Bro. <laughs> that nigga used to be a hell Low angel. Key, I did. That nigga started. That nigga said, "So well, you got to live at the school." <laughs> He's a rough rider and shit. Like, niggas, <laughs> niggas be sniping on the road. <laughs> I was like, y'all ain't here. Bro. You like you in a bike game. Like, 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 no. and, you, ain't, <laughs> and you ain't never seen him around like with some, some Q dog shit go down. Like, them niggas walk up, like, whisper, do they shit. I'll be like, but. Yeah. Every time nigga, somebody know me, see nigga, him, they make it a point to tell him bro, that they know me. I, bro, no that nigga, where the fuck I done at. met 300 of this nigga's closest yeah. friends. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that nigga Tyler used to write for Dragon. He th hey, <laughs> I was over there thinking of that. Hell no. That's it was supposed to come out like four out. seconds ago. My lord. Yeah. I was in the oh, no. one day. I was getting ready to catch a flight. I'm checking my bag curbside. The car rolled by. The nigga stopped and bagged up. He got out of the car and said, Bruh, I'm tired of old boy. <laughs> you know, Blue. <laughs> You know Tyler. You know Flu. Come on, Flu. Oh, that nigga know him, man. He know you know you. Yeah, you that's, know Flu is the name. The, oh, yeah, that's, hey, look, that's the stamp on me. Yeah. Like hey, that. bro, I had so a look. nigga come up to me, and he was he said, hey, man, you work with Flu. Man, he, he was one of the best coaches I ever had, bro. <laughs> That nigga said, can you FaceTime? I'm in Miami with my Bruh, wife and shit. Are you serious? <laughs> this big six, seven, light skin. They're like, Tyler, they go your friend. <laughs> this nigga about got, to cry. Look, we got some tickets to go to the uh, 49ers game. We get the club seats. We down there with the family and the side bitches and everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything, bro. I'm talking about as soon as we walk on the field. Walk out that bitch. Niggas, I'm talking about nigga right there behind me. Yo! Yo! I'm tired of old boy! <laughs> Big tall ass nigga. <laughs> this, this nigga like lived in his neighborhood or some shit. But that ain't my bullshit. <laughs> he played ball with me. That, that's the talking to my shout out I'm to my homie Jerk, man, boy. getting money. And, and, all, and it's funny because every time that happens, they'll, the person will call me right after that. Hey, I just ain't right. know. <laughs> 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 I haven't talked to these niggas in years, like seven, eight years. Yeah, I just seen Lowe's. Hey, what's up? This, this nigga homeboys in South Carolina. I done oh, ran into him shit. in LA and San Francisco. I'm like, this nigga literally must be the Tyler Durden. He goes in. He was just here before I left. Right. <laughs> but at least things from your show, niggas walking to me to my son. Titties in the beat. I'm like, my son is right here, bro. My son right yeah, here. Man. He cool. like we didn't buy Jordan. Niggas be the young nigga walk over. I'm like, big man, what's up? What's I'm like, up? <laughs> All right, young yeah, fella. Man. Thank you, man. I didn't know we had so like, all them fans like that. Bro. Bro. Yeah. When did you realize it? No matter where I go, that's the like. No, I'm saying, was it a certain time? No, like, when people damn. start mentioning '85 South Show before Wild and Out, mm. that's when I was like, Yeah, damn. 
No cap. Yeah. It's like we really just fell into a pocket and found all the motherfuckers that like the shit that we like. Yep, real shit. Sure. Yeah. And then they started bringing people along with them. Like, you need to fuck with this. Yeah. Right. So that's why I be having a lot of people at the shows that don't even look like they will fuck with black comedy, but it ain't black comedy, but it's black comedians. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit crazy, bro. You said keep going, bro. Just keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing, bro. And now we get people posting and them watching our you show. You after you cut me from Snapback? Uh, <laughs> that's what he told you like that. No, this was the cutting factor, actually. Bitch, bro, because now I don't <laughs> want y'all to feel like I had shit to do with that. I didn't know nothing, bro. Nah, Remo wasn't bullshit. I know <laughs> that nigga wasn't playing. Nah, it was, it was so close. You know it's what's actually crazy? What's up? Like, on the very last flight that I took to come home, you know, and once they shut everything mm -hmm. down, I was at Delta waiting on the car service downstairs. Guess who pull up? Who? Big Q. She drive the bus for Delta. Big fucking Q. Yeah. Yeah, Big yeah. Q just hit me today. That's crazy. I ain't spoke to her in six yeah. months. Yeah. She Big like, what's Q. up? I ain't even know she was. I knew it was I said, bro. <laughs> Cause that was my homeboy. So she pulled up. Right. Nigga, that's my homeboy. <laughs> What's up? Q is the homeboy. Shout out to Big Q, man. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know she was in LA. You yeah. knew that? No, no, that's no, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, you said Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. The last, when I came home, you got here. That's wild. And they canceled the tour. We was in Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore, yeah. Mm. Damn, yep. Damn, we was at the last State Farm shit that they had open. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's besides the Hawks game. How many, how many more days y'all had before the goddamn shutdown? We only had did like six shows, so we yeah. had like 20. It was the 85 South shows that was packed up. Like Lord, we, had have 20, mercy. we had like 20 shows left from the Wild and Out tour. Then we had like 80 shows booked. Then them 80 shows, then I, we had booked over that. I had, I was on tour, I was on two tours. Right. I was on, um, <sighs> Sorry, man. <laughs> hey man, was, everybody. Did, that's why you made that candle, bro. Counting their money at the yeah, I was like, that's why you made that candle, bro. Everybody has a count in their head of how much money they lost because of this campaign. Mine wasn't that much. It was like six eight hundred, no, praise the Lord. But you know, you know what I'm though, like, oh nigga, saw what that you had coming up? <laughs> yeah, that you saw that was like, six, yeah, God damn, that deficit hidden. Bro, yeah. this was the year we was gonna be on the boats with the models with their titties out. Come on it's now, close. yeah, yeah close. close. The titties out, nigga. A couple of the joints you turned down was. Right. To happen this year. This was the year I was going. <laughs> this, this was the year I was going to reenact Jay Z Money in a Thing video. Fuck you mean, bro? With the fisheye lens, bro. Open shirt shit. Oh, oh I was. I'm talking video. about. Did we, I was about to change Mountain. everything. Oh, linen, linen suits was coming. Bro, you was about to linen. I see you had that linen shell necklace. All of that. <laughs> I had that linen meat. You and Diddy. The linen oh, meat. Hilarious. <laughs> you know, linen talking about linen. Bro, yeah, we was about to bring back velour sweatsuits. I know. Oh, shit, I, got I got was already ready already, man. <laughs> got mine pressed. Nigga, you crazy? That's a fact. I got mine cold. still on ice, though. Mm. <laughs> nigga, I got the blow on ice. I know you do, though. We don't trust niggas that wear below as them. No, I don't trust white people. I'm wearing a blow with white shirt or suit, nigga. I'm talking about this was the year where we was going. First day is cold. You ever been around so much money, you'd be uncomfortable? Yeah, this was the shit. That's what we was aiming at. Yeah. I've been around illegal money, been been on. No, this was just going to be all legal money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's a lot. Yeah, we had big plans. But the thing <laughs> is, we don't know when that shit gonna open back up. But yeah, right. I guess it's open a little bit. Yeah, man. My dreams were so huge this year. I was aiming for the for the big for the big shit. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. It's coming though. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I know of, of, of course because you know I'm I'm in high pursuit. You I'm feel doing my man, y'all drop a special every week. That is not that's craziness. That, that's like, what's not talked about enough. People don't give y'all y'all credit for what dropping a full comedy Shout out special. To the team. Saying some real cap shit. Yeah, no, 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 you for real, man. We go serious. You, y'all, uh, uh, you can't. It's no way to look cool to get it off. Yeah. He just washed your face yeah, with your fingers. Yeah, you, you, there's no way to do it. Yeah, you damn sure didn't try to. Look I did. Cool I was like, yeah. get it off quicker. Yeah, yeah. Get like it off your mouth, your son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's probably still there. No, you good. good. But yeah, y'all dropped a special every week, man. That shit was yeah, new material, unheard of, and it's and like a, alien a, shit in an arena. Arena or oh, night, yeah, night arena, a, a theater. Yeah. It's like that's for a comedian. Y'all don't know, like you, you kind of take your set precious and mm -hmm. how you're gonna run it and do it. But to go out in front of 
uh, thousands and thousands of people, maybe even two shows, and to just go off the dome? Come on, man. Shit. Three shows. Sometimes. Three shows off what? the dome. That's all chemistry, man. Shit. Yeah, man. That's you know work, too. Right. That's, yeah. That's yeah. work. A lot of work, yeah. Yeah, man. We definitely was going out and just pushing it and just seeing how much we could get. Like, that's the beauty of the shit, man. It's like, we can run that shit however we want to go. We can do one, just... We can all we can split it up. We can do a set. We can mm-hmm. really run a show. We can right. whatever we want to do. Yeah, I see. I see the transformation of it. It's like building the audience that understands <coughs> that this is, even that you, even if you at the sh- at this show, this is not the show. It's a one of one every time. We're still working to get to the actual part, and we just appreciate yeah. you coming out here to watch us work. Because, you know, people send us out, like you said, they send the clips of them new watching the shit. It's like, yeah, man, y'all got me through this. I stopped taking this medicine. And wow. I just had surgery and I watched y'all the whole time, you know, in the club. Man, that shit be making you want to go hard. Man. Hell yeah. Man, this shit sure. helping people. Come yeah. on. Clap was the strong one. It's comedy. Shit, y'all, y'all are becoming the, the comedy meter. Like, because. These kids don't have a comic view, a Def Jam to refer to. Y'all are the reference. Like, Wild and mm. Out is the reference. Right. And you guys are the bar That's... because it's like, they don't want to hear that goddamn child support shit at school. You better turn up, do something. Right. Well, I heard like, that y'all make it, it, I go at Grambling this past year. man's content so much faster. Like, it ain't even that they don't fuck with the old comedy. It's just like, okay, that's all you got. Well, we done with you. And they just move on. They move on. The next right. Like, oh, I remember, dude. But I don't watch this shit no more. It's like, they gone. You just missed your turn. Mm-hmm. So, right. you know, I always try to. That's why I fuck with the social media so hard. You know, as far as just, like, it was just, it's always just personal shit. You know what I mean? Not like my personal shit, but just like, you get insight on what people think they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit that makes them laugh. It's it's research. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, okay, so that, that's the type of shit that y'all fuck with. Bro, how many times have you been on your timeline? You about to like something and guess who liked it already? Oh, Los. Boy, Los is. Lord have okay. mercy. Laser like. <laughs> you the first nigga to see everything, bro. He boosts your shit, though. You get a retweet from Hell him. Yeah. He boosts your shit. More Here. people gonna fuck with you, so you got. No, he's talking about Instagram. Oh, I'm the, talking about the gram. Oh, the gram, too. Shit. Shit. Same thing. Oh, I like oh, everything. It's all, it's all the algorithm. Yeah, it's all the no, algorithm. I just, I just know talent when I see it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like if, if, if a good like A and R or some shit, like, or like well, I would just watch what y'all fucking with. Like you know what I'm saying? Give them that game from Pro. Okay, but I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm saying, bro. What type of shit? Is <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna tell motherfuckers to copy me. What type of- <laughs> That's how we open this pod. <laughs> fucking Judas at the motherfucking table. <laughs> Now I'm about to get trolled. See? You see, see? this shit? Yeah. That's what this uh, Look at Big Boy out there. We're going to cut this part out. <laughs> I don't know why niggas just don't do what the fuck you do. I mean, if I was another nigga, I'd just you know, watch you. <laughs> exactly what you Make sure you don't never get on it. If I was another nigga, ideas, I would watch shit. you. you know, I'm, I'm damn sure about to drop a candle. Uh, oh, shit. Give him the sauce. That's funny. No, I'm just Oh, man, man. You know, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying though. It's like the higher I get, I can make sh- I can become a playmaker too. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Make the plays, baby. Yeah. Make, make the, the motherfucking plays. Play. Use my little play. What if what if my whole position is to find the next motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Like, Come on. Like for real, you know that's my little homie, man. Yeah, that nigga sold 11 billion records. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 11. <laughs> 11 billion. 11 he billion. did it. Right. Shout out to Wheelchair Man, man. Because y'all take Wheelchair Man on tour. Nah, because I feel like he'd be problematic. (laughs) (laughs) And that's the only thing. I just really feel like he'd be problematic. He's aggressive. He is very aggressive and he's very strong. He's very (laughs) strong. Very strong. That's That's funny. about 6'3". And that's the thing. (laughs) (laughs) He's tall as fuck. He's tall? (laughs) I know your I know your phone been messed up, but he stood well, up that on his crawled in that camera and said, "I'm probably faster than you, brother." You know what I mean? <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, you talking shit? Look, I can walk. Can you grow some hair?" <laughs> wheelchair man one. <laughs> she right. That's like, what if wheelchair man is really like God tested everybody? <laughs> 
boy. You stupid as hell. Stop it, man. I don't know. Shout out to wheelchair. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to take I that. I fuck with wheelchair, man. It's That's a lot of them all stars, man. And it's like, sometimes shit just ironically happens, man. Like, mm-hmm. I got a joke about a lady. I don't even tell the premise. This is just, I just got a joke about a lady who missing a, a foot. <laughs> Ironically, I did this shit at a show with a lady who was missing her foot, and she told me that she fucked with it. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so one night we had eight, we talking shit about your girl ain't have no hands. Just ironically, because DZ said he was fucking with this girl, her hand was one foot. Mm-hmm. She just kept hiding from him and something. I don't know how we got there, but <laughs> we taking pictures, man, in the line. Why the lady show up and she? Like, I wasn't gonna say <laughs> shit to y'all. I'm like, what are the fucking chances? I wasn't gonna say <laughs> shit to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Some of the craziest shit happened at the oh, show, nigga. man. Oh god! One nigga Boy, was in there just tried to start a fight with a random dude sitting next to him. It was just like a random nerd ass dude, and he was like a street. I'm like, man, leave that man alone, bro. Gonna whoop the shit out of this man. Leave his butt alone. The nigga got there breaking up fights on stage. Nigga broke that shit up. Why the nigga go outside and get into it with the police? Oh, man. He just had it on the spirit that day, bro. Right? Wanted some smoke. So quick touch of shit, bro. Yeah, That's it the is. Thing. They don't do that. They never do that. <laughs> More than culture. Yes, yeah, sir. Is it that time? Weed is we just all, all agreed in unison. Yes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> sir. Yep, show sure live. You can you paying your uh, only fans? I got throw a little forty piece out there. Real <laughs> hey, big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, Tyler be subscribing to them shit. Yeah, yeah, hey, I'm man. on that. I know about it. I, I got. I seen the hack. I know about I was it. With yeah, man. Like, this what they. This it. This shout out to a man who remained nameless, but shot sent the sent the link to the. Uh, you know what I mean? To, hey, <laughs> to the, you know what I'm saying? To the the only fans link. You know what I mean? Man, tell the truth. Some of them, some of them girls on OnlyFans, they pussy look awful. <laughs> <laughs> tell the truth. They look like the ashtray when you dump it out. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's why you ain't on there, bruh. Yeah, that's why they got the emoji in front of it. Oh my god, bruh, it black it on so the much sifting through that fucking link. Bruh, bruh, it, it was like so the heart. My neck started hurting. I was like, let me get out a of lot of twelve man, second man. clips. I, I was mad about. Like, I'm like, a twelve bruh. second clip. That's, bruh, what <laughs> the fuck the is all like it? God damn, damn, come on, man. Paid all this money to see them old pepperoni ass nipples. Yeah. All them girls got the same nipples. They go get the titty done and they got the, you can see it. <laughs> where they got the surgery. Yeah, That's the, a prerequisite. Yeah, so like, oh, yeah, all right. Got the cut, the where you got the stitches. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> Boo the stitches. Man, Performance and the titties, Man, them bitches just be going out of hand, man. They're like the cleavage don't be matching up. Yeah, shit. They got too popular, up. man. Everybody yeah, started Coke doing them. <laughs> doing titties. Yeah, yeah they, What yeah, you doing? Done titties. in the nail salon and shit. <laughs> right. Chicks yeah. get their titties done. I don't think everybody, yeah, she should just rock the titties you have. Yeah, man, that's the most sexy anyway, natural rap. Hell yeah. I done seen some awful titties that had so much character though. <laughs> <laughs> who who so unique. Who who has the thicker women, Mississippi or Atlanta? Mm. Ooh. I don't know, they about the same thickness, but I don't know, Mississippi women a little bit thicker. Cause they eating a little better. They, they look. Eat, they, it's a they different eating, kind of jiggle. They eating home cooked food Snap, every day. Snapping the peas for real. <laughs> That's, yes, I think they thick and they more athletic too. You think, I think so? I think Houston got the biggest women in America. Houston, America. Houston, Houston, Texas. Every time I used to go, Houston, don't lie, Houston so got Texas Houston so big. Period. Is, I think Houston is in the perfect geographical location <laughs> to breathe the best it's, thing. It's Thirty-three degrees where the sunlight <laughs> starts. Cut your ass got off, it. bro. Look at all the thick, <laughs> fine-ass women that then came from Houston. Come on, yeah, the that's queen. Drake started yeah. singing that. I'm gonna just break. I'm gonna make something clear to you. There is vibranium <laughs> in Houston. Okay? Boy, shut your ass up, dude. Okay. There is vibranium. Every time I used to go to Essence Fest, all the bad joints used to be. What's that from shit Houston. from Black Panther? Yeah, vibranium. vibranium. What you said? It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is how you know I ain't lying. Nigga. Houston. Jay Prince from Houston, right? Mm-hmm. Meg the Stallion's knees came from Houston. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> Hardcore. What is the correlation? I don't know. Uh, I'm strong. strong. No, both I'm strong. just saying they both up. They, uh, they are both of the same strength. Yeah. <laughs> Hardcore. 
That's a fact. Hey, they got two of the. I met Meg the Stallion at the airport with you. We yeah, got off the plane. Oh my god, no, no shit. It was she, random. Like, is she, she, is she, is she early in the morning? That's early in the morning. Is she fine. Yeah. Boom, boom. Okay. Get well soon. Yeah. yeah sir. Man. Yeah. Right. 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 She twerked right. and everything. No, yeah, we didn't even ask her to. I Two just, times. Just it's like an this. unrequested twerk. Wait, what? Twerk on IG times. story. She yeah. did that. This is a story you don't tell In the enough. morning. Yeah. You tell a lot of stories when about shit, but this is the one you don't give me. This is sweatpants. I heard it once. I was coming from fucking somewhere. Come on, give me was on my flight. I was coming from Cleveland. Yeah, I don't know where I was coming from. Some school. But we, I saw him on the train. We just chopping it up. And then we was walking. And she walked up. We was like, oh, shit, hey. We was more like, hey. Right. Yeah, yeah, she saw <laughs> and she starts twerking. Oh, y'all yeah, have to. Nah, we were showing I said, up. Look, up got she got big. She said she just started twerking. What? On the on the big escalator. It was Boom. a great morning. It was a good great it was a Good day. Atlanta That's day. A good it's, start to it. I was like Atlanta. Yeah. You get home and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the road, shit. Yeah. 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 This Atlanta. Coming back to the airport. That yeah, shit didn't make you go home like. Where did I park? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I was on the flight with Cam Newt. I was first class with him first time in a long time, man. That nigga, that nigga was on the flight with one of them hats, and he wore the hat the whole time. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, the first lady, lady hat. To here, nigga. That nigga wore his hat for five hours. Boy. The so lady that big ass, ass hat. How did you even for sit the, down? Um, huh? For the 49ers game. So yeah. they, gave, they made us our own jerseys and shit. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so that. We were wearing the jerseys while we on the, you know, on the sideline and shit. So Cam Newton, they were getting they ass. <laughs> they getting total fuck up by yeah. the 49ers. They got brutal like, 49ers were hell so that year, too. So the nigga was too. standing there, and he was looking, and he saw us, and he was like, oh, fuck Ah, he see them jerseys, yeah. Jersey. Ah. And he, we can see him now, yeah. like, like he was about to walk, he was like, fuck it. I did competitive, boy. Yes, sir. Well, I fuck with y'all. Got y'all wrong on Newton, man. Uh, he wanted the picture man. real quick. You know you got his phone yeah. on the right. He's going to at least say what's up. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> that nigga was mad. <laughs> and it wasn't, he didn't even do it slick enough when we ain't see it. <laughs> nah, he, he wanted y'all to see it. He made sure we see it. Cam sassy. He he wanted you to see that. Yeah. And talk about it on the pod. He takes DC later, though. That was funny. Fucked up with y'all did. DC wasn't even there. Damn. That's the crazy part. But he still texts him. I know he did. <laughs> that's, that's what they do there. He's still texting. Funny shit, when you be around this nigga every time you be around him or you go on the road with Fly or whatever, they gonna ask one of them about the other one. Like if you be yes. with Lowe's, they're like, where, where, where DC at? Like, nigga, what? <laughs> I'm not, I'm I guess we're gonna have to do a better job scheduling or at least them, we're gonna have to get on a group scheduling or something so I can know where these niggas at at all. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. You gotta be accountable. Please ask you that shit. He might be with his child. Right, I don't I'm know. So, like, right. We don't live together. Y'all know that, right? Just me. Might, I got. I'm gonna that. have to start making up shit. Yeah, you should. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> that improv right movie. Right. Like, yeah, man, nigga. Hey. Crazy shit is the nigga <laughs> opening a, a farm for baby hamsters. Because <laughs> you know how much. Nigga, oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they going to ask me what Chico is. I'm like, man, you, did you know that nigga owns five water burgers? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some shit. So whenever we not on the road, he's building his franchise. <laughs> These are the type of lies that we start. Hey, bro, that would be a great. And if you want me luck. to say, if somebody asks me where you don't worry, I got you. I would never, like, like throw no slander and shit out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the people, man. I vote for Carlos. Yeah. Niggas about to do a Domino's commercial yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just, I be tell, like I be telling motherfuckers, man, Ronnie Jordan owns two subways. Period. Mm. He gonna eat Franchise. both of them, but he don't know. <laughs> I'll be here all weekend. I'm still available for shows, birthday parties, wedding receptions. <laughs> Only thing I won't perform at is breast reduction. <laughs> <laughs> you do show a lot of love to Subway when you're on stage. Though. He do. He fuck with him the long way. way. You get it? You get it? Yes. I write jingles, commercials, and I got scripts. <laughs> I got and I got scripts. Oh man, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how, how would it feel to be how high too, bro? Like that's oh, that was cool. Legendary shit. I tried to make sure I was high mm. the whole time because I, I didn't want it. I didn't. I wanted to keep the tradition going because mm-hmm. I knew that it wasn't gonna be like the first one. Right? right. Was P there? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't I know, know who was there. I, you know, I've got to shoot my hey, shit last. Oh, no, how high? I'm thinking Like, they, I don't know. Like, QC did? That was a QC movie? I don't know. Nah, nah, about about no, I don't. Oh, shit. I was going to no, no, I wasn't there to <laughs> meet none of them folks. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me and Yachty. <laughs> Roddy would not let me live. <laughs> Hold on, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fuck up, bro. <laughs> nah. 
I was trying to. Nah, you help me. Yeah, you trying to throw me a little alley. I thought the rebound back in. I fucked up. I fucked up. Throw the rebound back in. Yeah, we were supposed to just get back on defense. We weren't even supposed to drive. Nah, bro, you supposed to just score, nigga. <laughs> just leave it alone. Let's get back and play some defense. He <laughs> score. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, oh man, shit. I, I fuck with that how had too shit. Because I fuck with the first one. So yeah, I just feel like, yeah, yeah. bro. I would have did that shit for free, man. Because it's man. like some shit. I would just. That's a classic for. Do. That's for classes for niggas that was our age when How High came out. Now, man, we still fans of shit, man. That's so if you saying. ever some shit are I'm able, just gonna do for the for the culture, yeah. like yeah. like Comic View, like Def Jam, like when it. they brought that shit back, I was so excited. I was like, nigga, fuck that, I'm trying to do this shit. Yeah, you one of the few right. episodes that made it on. Yes, on, exactly what I I'm saying. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Shit, your comic view, yeah, your comic view was like one of the rare ones that made it on that season and, and the Def Jam. Right. And they got a lot of shit in the vault over there, boy. Mm-hmm. Shit. A lot of shit in the vault. BT Plus. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad I got to do my shit mm-hmm. and on the platforms I wanted to do them on. You know what I'm saying? That's real. And that's, that's the right. part is like the shit that, that made me want to do comedy to be on all of that shit. Like yeah. everything, like man, that shit, it nothing, hit different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing like doing projects and being yourself. Like people hiring you to be you instead of having to go and. Man, it ain't nothing like doing a project and going to the next motherfucker. I'm talking about it. Just work. another show. That's the, <laughs> that's the shit. <laughs> shit. Hilarious. Yeah. How you sound like you being at home a little bit? Quarantine. Man. I don't know. My son so damn. Sometime, sometime he'd be right up, like right up there kicking it with me. And then that nigga jump in the car and leave me for a week and just go <laughs> be with the family and shit, man. Yeah. He grown, man. Independent. No, yeah, I know. Yeah, he, uh, he loves the shit, though, man. We've been kicking in and cooling, joking, roasting, joking on each other. My daddy on TV. I'm everywhere too. Bro, bro. Like he's talking about. Because I know he knows his father. He's like oh, the he's dick very aware. Well. He's the asshole Boy. about it. <laughs> he's <laughs> really very aware. Well. Oh, That's hilarious. You come to school in the new shit. wild and out hoodie, nigga? What the fuck you on, mean? Bro. Like the shit they, they're coming on tonight? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, this is the new colorway. New color way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, oh, damn, yeah. Man. Oh, you, you got know. some vans? That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just... drove here. <laughs> God. God. Hell no. <laughs> this fucking asshole. Hilarious, bro. That's dope, way, though, man. He talk big shit. But he backing it up though. I know he he been funny though. Yo, all that cussing and shit. I can't, all that can't cussing and shit. I can't stop him from cussing and shit. Damn for real. I mean, yeah. but you know, look at you know, look at his, his mama and his daddy. Yeah, man. <laughs> Y'all some cussing motherfuckers, my boy. And uh, he, he curses a lot. It's amazing. You think I don't know he do, but he oh, do. Oh, for real. <laughs> you on his uh his social media shit? Man, hell no. I try not to be, but I have to be. You got yeah. to. Yeah. I have to keep a watchful eye. You know, it's all type of weirdo <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. You know. Got to. That's hilarious. Them kids grow up fast, man. Boy, boy. And they are who they are. They and then are. it's crazy because I be thinking about like, like, what if you have some kids, right? Mm-hmm. It is like, what if they, because they going to grow up to be like, you can try to influence them and give them the right environment, but they still going to be individual. What if you have some kids and they grow up to be like the exact type of motherfuckers you just don't like? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, what if all of this fucking <laughs> astrological shit is true? Like, you a Leo and they Virgos, no, and y'all just shit. don't fuck with each other. <laughs> just that's one, that's one, that's one of my biggest fears, bro. You feel like, me? Yeah, like, your kids, you fuck with your kids. This, this gonna be a motherfucker that I, I don't everybody work everybody with. fall out with their parents at least once. It ain't about falling out with you. I'm saying, like, I what if y'all don't fuck just, with you? Y'all just be like, <laughs> when it's time to move out, y'all just look at each other like, well, well. <laughs> 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 That's me and my aunt, boy. Well, That's crazy. Well, well, <laughs> right. Well, Hello. You feel me? It's like what is Goodbye. certain people who just rub you the wrong way. That's Not crazy. saying that my son. This is just the type of shit that, like, in quarantine, I'm sitting there thinking, like, because like kids do shit that annoy the fuck out of you if they wasn't your kids. Like, how much fucking food is this motherfucker gonna eat? It's like having a roommate that ain't got the rent. Ain't got nothing. Don't buy no groceries. Don't wash no dishes. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Consume. 
And then it'd be like, you'd be triggered and then you have a false alarm. And like you would hear some shit, like something fell in the in the room and you'd go up there like, what the fuck was that? Shit, I don't know. That's hilarious. And then they really ain't did shit to like a closet rack fail. Like, Y'all all right. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make sure everybody's safe. <laughs> See what's happening. Don't be still and lay down. <laughs> lay down. I'm telling y'all, don't be running in there. See oh, what shit. happens. Uh, That's some shit that parents do. You have to trigger them. That's how mad yeah. they are. They got to trigger them. They <laughs> never stop eating. Once they get to like 11, 12, they can eat all day long. As anybody who got some kids, That's they, great. they can literally eat from the time they wake up to you could go feed them. Take them out to eat. By the time you get home, they already hungry again. God so, damn. Man, teens who person. You see it? <laughs> these mother, my son can eat twenty nuggets, six pieces of pizza. <laughs> this is shit I seen him do. <laughs> a twenty box of fruit roll ups. Gone. Twenty four Capri Sun. Gone. My son yeah. drunk so Bro, many sodas one Capri time I had to stop buying them. Gone, boy. How? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker was bought, man, nigga had a plate of tacos, man. They had two big ass tacos on that bitch. Them bitches was gone before he even got to where the fuck Three he was to get to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I can eat another one. What? <laughs> You ate yet? No, go ahead. <laughs> see how much you're going to eat. Fuck everybody else. I just want to see. When does it ever stop? <laughs> how many juices can this motherfucker oh, drink? Shit. If you buy five different juices, your kids will drink all five different juices. They'll, they'll be all open at and the then, same goddamn time. And then tell you which Shut ones up. ain't good. And keep drinking it. Drinking it. No. <laughs> I don't, I don't like that kiwi strawberry, she but it's the only one that's cold. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> that's the worst part about it. They will eat oh. your shit up and drink it up and give you a whole fuel review. Don't buy no more of them. A <laughs> they even get the taste. I don't know what they like. <laughs> so, nigga, that shit's so you real. You don't even know you like ice cream sandwiches until you see somebody else eat 12 of them bitches. Man, listen. <laughs> You would think they'll love you enough to leave you, you one want, or two. I'm already planning on putting the refrigerator in my room. You got to put them on a meal prep or something, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. We be, bro, you know, we be hot. We, we be hot and shit. Meal prep, anything that's but in that fine. bitch getting ate. Period. The whole meal. Everything. Period. Everything. All you got to do, yeah, do is put everything in the refrigerator. refrigerator. <laughs> everything. You that. think motherfuckers will have the courtesy to, have to make a whole sandwich, don't you? No. <laughs> Sandwich meat, straight out the pack. <laughs> oh yeah. Know if this shit gonna kill him or not? That's the good old days. I remember that shit. Yes, sir. Stop out the pack. Stop my nephew from eating raw hot dogs. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> but then I thought about it. This is shit we grew up on. I don't know if he been doing this shit. Hey, you know who got them hot dogs? He didn't cook these bitches, bro. Eat them raw. Yeah, bro. That, it <laughs> might taste like bologna though. I don't know. Shit, we was on. I must say, y'all know some wild shit. No, and the boys and girls. Club in Atlanta, boy. That shit, that's so raw real. hot dog. Bad you ain't a real nigga if you ain't never ate no raw hot raw dog, nigga. Raw. You ain't never ate a raw hot dog. Bro, sticky to the shit. You, you wash it off. Too soon. Raw. I ain't eat that shit. My dad, my dad was the chef, so them niggas was like, Boy, your daddy was the chef. My bad. My bad. I ain't know. I didn't know I was around a bunch of privileged Negroes. Shit, you the one with the toy box to heaven. Shit. Yeah. I ain't had I have a box, nigga. I had a sack. You can ask. Really? You can ask any nigga that know me. I had I had everything I mentioned. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, that shit. Is, man, that shit hit different. But man. like kids get to growing up, eat up every fucking thing. But my kids be touching me. All that shit you talking about? It's imagine two of them crawling hands on be you. So sticky. And, and my son <laughs> talked to me in my eye socket. Daddy. I know hey, exactly. daddy. Daddy. Ooh. You, daddy. You like they violate you the like shit juice, out of you, man. They don't they respect like, space. They like a bully in your neighborhood that you can't that get you back. That you can't touch. Wow. Walk up, snatch your hat all long. <laughs> and then snatch your something. phone out your hand. Clark told me, Bruh. he said, Daddy, you can't say that to me. You hurt my feelings. You, you ready? I said, oh, nigga. <laughs> oh, bro. Nigga got it. Oh, you got to get it. Man. I would hit Mexican that kid. Mexican made, man. A Mexican made? What's that going to do? Uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm just... Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get married, but I thought like I have a child. I'm going to have to have a Mexican made. You give up one day. 
<laughs> you give up one day. You gonna give up one day? We all surrender. <laughs> all surrender. <laughs> That's true. That is a true. <laughs> Jesus. True. You gonna you get you get somebody one day. That is true. She get quiet when dark. But she get quiet, quiet when all the niggas start like, oh, talking about oh. kids. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Then I looked at your ponytail. <laughs> I was like, ah, you got a little bang. You know what I'm saying? Boy got some time left. Come on, man. My boy got some time left before he talk about that. That bitch still sprouting. <laughs> He's like you in the NBA bubble. <laughs> I don't think we walking in. WNBA <laughs> bubble. <laughs> the WNBA bubble. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that fucked oh, up. Oh my god. Oh man, real quick, promo man. Shout out to Flotopia man. Flo. I know from all can't eat these, but if y'all want to try. Oh my man. lord. Oh, them Rice look. Crispy, uh, moon rock though. Wow. Ooh. Wait, I'm not. Moon rock balls, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's two of them in there like nuts. They're going to be tripping balls. Hey. I'm yeah, available for birthday parties, <laughs> radio stations. Black owned uh, edible spot. Man. Yeah. Boom. So credible out of edibles. North Carolina. You did. You did. Shout out to them. You know, I'll fuck around. Calling. Chico. Bean. Chico Bean, what's up, man? I'm on more than culture right now. Chico. You know right. <laughs> you know right enjoy now. <laughs> Hold on, you tell him. Hold on. Yeah, what you say? What's up with y'all niggas, man? What up, what's man? up, boy? I love your hair. Hey. Hey, I, hey, Chico, since you started wearing your hair out, I've been wearing shorts every day, nigga. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know it is what it is, nigga. That's the campaign. Hey, man, you going to start a whole freedom movement, man. Mm -hmm. For real. You know it. It's time for black men to be body positive. For sure. Here. Bet. My niggas. Chico motherfucking Bean, Chico man. Shout out to Bean, one of the realest niggas you gonna man, meet, man. We oh, had a mm -hmm. dope Carlos episode in the vault, but we got very high. Oh, you talking about boys <laughs> in the other studio? Nigga, you when we smoked that motherfucking wax on that damn joint, oh, that bitch yeah. was melting, nigga. Whose homie was that? That was your homie? Da, 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 the nigga yeah, Edibles man. of Atlanta. That yeah, shit had a tear coming out your eyes. Nigga, so, man, we was high. We was high as a bitch. I nigga. just started passing the blunt around. I wasn't hitting them after a while. Yeah, man, that shit yeah, was, was too much. Bitch. That was a good old day. Yeah. Man, we lost that footage? The sound was crazy. Oh, sound. <laughs> Hell this yeah. The one right here, this is it. This the one right here. The one yeah. coming to see Thank you now. for always having me on your platform as well as man, Tyler. Anything you know, that I got, here, bro. You, you always shout always us out. be welcome to it. That's you will always be more than welcome to anything that I'm working on. I'm always going to need your influence, your input. And Thank uh, you, bro. You know, you know the way we kick shit, man. We just start kicking what? shit out of thin air. Bitch, mm -hmm. we had some pilots on here that didn't do shit early. You know what I'm saying? Well, Everybody <laughs> don't have a good early, pilot man. now. We out here living. That's why I was like, I got to be around niggas who just want to try some shit. It might mm -hmm. not hit, but let's see. Let's see what's going on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, man, that's a very important part of anything. You got to riff, man. You got riff. to. You got to riff, man. With that jazz, baby. T -t 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 yeah, but that shit, like, made me want to not have a set. <laughs> like, not. You know no, what I'm saying? That's 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 your, that was your riff right there. You know, man. It's yeah. like you they actually. Cut him off. Like, <laughs> being able to. You got to know how to write a set to actually even be able to, to riff a dude. If that makes sense. <laughs> nah, it do. Like, you got to know how to do the shit the right way before you, you can do it your way. Yeah, y'all ain't cut my boy off. You know you can't say rip, can't say riff without remo. Oh no, bro. You know what I'm saying? He got problems with somebody named Riff. Nah, he wants to do jazz stuff. We didn't cut him off. I heard his little horn and shit. His little horn. Hey man. God damn. God damn, a little horn. Carlos pulled on your heartstrings. He heard your little horn. He heard your horn. Heard your little horn, my nigga. You wasn't, you wasn't committed to the bit. It was your background horn. Yeah, you, it was background horn. Man, yeah. It was the horn with the mute on it. Ain't committed. Oh shit! What they talking about, dog? We Shine. Feel, we got a new shit. light. We got, we got a new light. Shout out to dot net. Dot net in the building. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With man, the digital. I, I would never step on your solo again, bro. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> if I would have known it was gonna be that good, I would have waited. <laughs> not gonna, cause it's like we already waited on it, and then for you to do it, and then nobody say shit. <laughs> I feel like you got cheated, my nigga. <laughs> we we hear it a lot. This <laughs> nigga is low set throwback right now. <laughs> Yeah, we appreciate, we do appreciate it, but you know we just. Oh, that yeah. nigga have that, man. <laughs> you just fucked all that up. Terrible. You high, bro. You, you can't high, even bro. roll. You can't. Yeah, I fucked that. I see. I, I'm uh, yeah. Looking at when you drunk, if you drunk driving right now. <laughs> you spilled the weed there. I guess. What you do? Oh, you spilled I flipped the weed. it inside. Yo, you gotta, you gotta have another birthday roast, bro. Your to. birthday roast be classic, hey, bro. Man. The green coat one. Oh my god. So fucked up when your friends show up on your birthday to tell you how how much of a lousy motherfucker you are. Just some, this, Who this, this, started this shit? Bro, the greats. <laughs> man, hilarious. I laughed so hard at the last birthday bro. I had a fucking migraine, man. These That <laughs> shit was some of the funniest shit I ever <laughs> seen, bro. Damn. And then just for him to be rolling up right now, I, he was like, he killed me in my room. I just came on stage and said, fuck you, Ronnie Jordan. That nigga put chicken in the blunt. <laughs> <laughs> It look like I'm looking for chicken. Man. It look like I really put chicken. Ass, <laughs> loose chicken he put in there. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, man. man. They, gave, they, they came through and fucked me up on my roast, but that shit was so Nigga, cool. Corey yeah, was on that bitch, man. That exactly, shit. man. Who the fuck gets that to happen? That's crazy. Right, man. Right. It's it's true. Clayton bro. English. Yeah. Clayton English, yes, man, sir. Me and Clayton used to hit every spot, man. Bro, y'all was the dogs back in the day, bro. Y'all niggas God, was the nigga dogs. Life, man. I don't give a fuck what happened. Happened, man. Yeah, Should yeah. Played during the protest, bro. We was that's what? Exactly what talking about, man. Front line, like, nigga. Niggas, niggas like, that's my nigga for life. <laughs> it's so funny because he said he was on the front line on accident. That shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Said the shit was on my street. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to go outside. <laughs> go outside. Can't be black. It's on my street. <laughs> <laughs> he said on accident. <laughs> he said I saw it outside and I was like, damn. Like, I, yeah, I'm... I was trying not to march, but goddamn, they're right here. You're right. So he's like two blocks away from the crib. Crazy. It's on the roof. Crazy. Yeah, I saw when he got first got out and he said the nigga was on the bus with the jersey on. What's the jersey? The nigga had on the Andrew, Andrew Bynum, Bynum jersey. Nigga <laughs> had the nigga in the Bynum jersey. He said, I know he was about action. Boy. He said, how do you still have an Andrew Bynum jersey? <laughs> Who has an Andrew Bynum jersey? This nigga here, man. Yeah, yeah that's my boy, man. Yes, sir. Bro, my nigga, my nigga. Hey. Yeah, man, you want to shut it down, man? Is it that time? With some, this some goodness. is a great episode. Oh, yeah, great, great episode. We'd like to end episodes with seven one called Super Junior Life Coach. Get the people some words of wisdom, get through the week, get into the it. next episode. We need it. I am Kamal the Secret Genius. And the words of the week are this. Hitting a shot don't make you a shooter. God mm. damn. It's, con- tur- <laughs> it's mm. turning consistent misses into consistent makes Mm -hmm. that makes you a shooter can't call yourself a shooter if you ain't never missed a shot anybody can walk in the gym put one up and it fall shooters shoot man so be about that action when it comes to anything you do shoot take as many attempts as it takes to become a consistent shooter because hitting the shot don't make you a shooter. That's all I got. God, boy, somebody been watching that bubble. I didn't, I didn't, Come on. What? I didn't know. Oh, man. Boy. That's how we end this thing, Lo. Come on now. Shout out to the new merch. Life coach. God man. dang, get your merch. What, 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 where can they find our merch, brother? The words be powerful. Um, Yeah, they can find the merch at IamTheSecretGenius.com. Come on, Yes, man. sir. Hey, and what the quit touching shit? What's the website? Man, you can go to Quit Touching Shit Exclusives, or you can go oh. to Quit Touching Ish I got some, I got some exclusive one-off pieces on the Quit Touching Shit Exclusive, like yeah. some candles and some candles, candles. pineapple sage. I gotta get the candle three is other, is and a, a few other secret things that you gotta hit the site to see because it's exclusive. You know, we do limited runs over there, so you know it's first come first serve. Well, yeah, Five black. Five black. Put that pressure on. What you got, Remo? Yeah. What you selling? Quit touching shit, man. I am selling ponytail. Exclusive. Extensions, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm, like, you know, I'm trying one off. Get my hair done. Should be crazy. Tomorrow. Doing like drumsticks. You know what I mean? I'm there, man. <laughs> that was fun. Like, commemorate. Stupid. All right.
No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eternal Water. You know what I'm saying? Remo Rod. <laughs> He's trying 50. to get back in. He's trying to get back in. You that feel me? Hey. Come on, he, <laughs> yeah. he got put out the house. <laughs> <laughs> they let him back in, though. Come on. That's what I'm saying. It's like they only going to let you one nigga back in. You ain't making enough. This nigga's going harder. Bro, I, 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 I love him. <laughs> 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 that nigga's got to oh, let me yeah. back in. I'm an entanglement like a motherfucker. Oh, I can't let him go. Like, like, shout out to Snack Junkie. I got my cook. Snack Junkie. Yeah, Oh, shout out to Snack Junkie. Snack Junkie. I got a out tray of macaroni and cheese. Oh, yes, indeed. A tray you got at the crib, though? Nah, oh, nah. Just, he just pull up. Oh, you today? Yeah. Yeah, she just, yeah you, I'm sorry, bro. My bad, man. Oh. I missed that. I, I actually. I said the last episode. First of all, you weren't supposed to say that. I wasn't. No, nah, it's all good. It's, that's Tyler. Uh, <laughs> I happened to be on FaceTime with Ronnie <laughs> while Anita was making a pan for Remo. Oh man, you gonna throw me under the bus? You see a runway? Damn was, it, bro! Yo, what's what's happening? He threw me right under the bus. I don't bought most snack, snack junkie shit. Than no, anybody but in Monday I did say she said yo, she's yo, making macaroni. So if y'all want to order on the house, yes, the pans, I got you, bro. I got scoops too. That cheese expensive as shit too, man. I hope y'all like it because that shit high. I didn't want to play cheese expensive. That shit is Vegan amazing. cheese fucking high as hell, bro. That shit sound like it made me boogie real hard. That shit's good. All right, man. Oh. More than coach is the brand. <laughs> this is the podcast. I didn't Ball the Secret I Genius, Remo Rod, Tyler right. Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. Right. Special guest. Yeah. Special Carlos guest. Miller. One more time. Boy. Yay. We out. We touch shit. Official blessed AF. Oh, man. Official blessed AF.com. Cheers. Yeah.